and said he, they cut me down and they left up high. I am the life that will never, never die. I live in you if you live in me. I am the Lord of the dance, said he. Dance, dance, wherever you may be. I am the Lord of the dance, said he. And I lead you all wherever you may be. And I lead you all in the dance, said he.
face down along the fall road it's where I long to be Lying in the dark with the Provo company A comrade on the left eye, another one on me right A couple of ammunition for the little arbor light He was stopped by a soldier, he said you are a swine He hit me with his rifle and he kicked me in the groin I begged on, I pleaded, oh my mothers were polite But all that time I'm thinking of me little arbor light And it's down in the fog side, it's where I long to be Lying in the dark with the Provo company A comrade on me left and another one on me right And a couple of ammunition for the little arbor well, this brave are you see, man, to march in up our street. Six hundred pretty soldiers he had lined up at his feet. Come out, you curly minions, come on out and fight. He cried a holy jogan, but he heard the arm of light on his down in the Quillahi. It's where I long to be, lying in the dark with the Provo company. A comrade on me left and another one on me right. I cut the wrong in this shit for the little arm light. Army came to visit me, it was in the early hours With Saracens and Saladins and Ferret Armour Chars The thought that had me cornered, but I gave them all a fright What a yard of piercing bullets off me, little arm of light And it's our whole in the new lodge, it's where I long to be Lying in the dark with the Provo Company A comrade on me left and another one on me right I cut the wrong ignition for me, little arm of light Well, when Pryor came to Belfast to see the battles won the generals, they had told him, we've got them on the run. But corporals and privates, while on patrol at night, say, remember, now no water and the bloody arm. A light band is down across the glen, and it's where I long to be. Lying in the dark with the Provo Company, a comrade of... Oh, can you hear me? Can you hear me? Oh, hello, hello, oh. hello. Hello. Welcome to the St. Patrick's Day stream, the Saint the Drunk Pikmin St. Patrick's Day stream. Where I've uh, I've already begun drinking. I've had a Mike's Harder, which is 8% alcohol. I don't know what that means, but we're off to a good start. Off to the races we go. I haven't finished it yet. But I will be finishing the rest of it. And I've got my Seagram's here. I don't really know. I, I think what we're going to do, what we're going to do is I'm going to drink every time I lose a Pikmin because this is a Pikmin stream. And I'm also going to take a swig every time that I uh, finish a day, finish a day. And the dog is screaming. Goodness. Oh, all right. Let's remove this. Do you see this one? Oh, Dan. Danny, we're also joined by the wonderful uh, Dan, Danny Sexbang of the Game Grumps. What do you have to say for yourself, Dan? What do you have to say for yourself? Right off the bat, I want to say, I think you're a pussy. <laughs> you, you censored fuck right above there. You, you didn't even go, you, you didn't even go all for it. You just, you catered to... The uh, what's yeah. your name? Uh, Susan Wojcinski. Yeah. Yeah. No, yeah. I did, I did, I did. What um, you, man? I just grabbed this. I just remembered the meme, and I googled Boston weather meme, and the first one I found, it had that little cloud over the fuck. I would not censor the word fuck. I don't censor these streams. Uh, later on, we're going to be uploading them to uh, places like uh, fucking Gab and Parlor and uh, Odyssey. No, we're, we're, we don't censor ourselves on the stream. I've got a big bowl of Chex happened, Mix. Man? I've got a big bowl of Chex Mix as well as nuts mixed in with the Chex Mix and potato chips because my palate is so oversaturated with fat and salt. It's not enough for me to just have regular Chex Mix. I can't be satisfied. All right. What part of your overall body um, 
What percentage of you is just made up of salt? Um, a lot of it. I would say a good eighteen mm. percent uh, salt. Wow, that's a lot. It's pretty big, pretty big amount. Oh, hopefully when I open up Dolphin, the whole thing doesn't crash and the stream doesn't shit out. Oh, fingers crossed. Did you? Uh, no. Did you? No, I didn't. Did you try this beforehand? Oh well, I I, I did a whole Luigi's Mansion stream. Oh, there it is. There's that wonderful sound. Oh, yeah, I guess. There's that wonderful Pikmin sound. Oh, joy. Oh, delight. And, and wonderment. Oh, it's gorgeousness and gorgeousity made flesh. Oh, let's, let's, let's start. I'm at work, says Star in Speculation. Well, you know, work is play when you're watching Goodly Draws and Friends. Have a good day. You know what? Technically, he's at work right now. So. <laughs> it's a, oh, fingers! You know, dress for the job you want, not the job you have. Yeah. Dress like you have a job. Dress, don't dress like you're a, a filthy meat with too much free time, crippling, uh, you know, self self doubt issues. Look, it's Captain Olimar. It's Captain Olimar. He's out on a nice. Uh, a nice leisurely flight. And here's a little meteor. Oh, I wonder what's going to happen here. Oh, no. Oh, no, the meteor hit him, Dan. What's going to happen to him? I, I don't know. I, I, I can't, honestly, I can't tell you. I know nothing about these games. I've never played them. And you just, every once in a while, you just, like, subject me to these, like, these facts. That's the that's the dynamic. I, you've played it. You played this. I think you said you played the first one, but it was a while ago. It was back when it was appropriate to play these uh, Nintendo games for children. Oh yeah, yeah. I definitely played this at like a kiosk at a KB Toys. Oh, yeah. No, that's what it. Oh, so you didn't commit to it. I know another guy who he he looked at me and he was like, "Oh yeah, you're the Pikmin guy." Yeah. Um, yeah, I played Pikmin for like five seconds at a, at a Walmart, but then I immediately switched to some, I was like Gundam or something, fucking, I don't know. Uh, my I name played is, Zoids. What the fuck is Zoid? My name is Captain Olimar. While traveling through space, my ship was struck by a meteor. I, I must have blacked out, and I awoke on the surface of a weird planet. <laughs> With so many parts lost, the skeletal hull of my beloved dolphin is a pain... A painful sight. The engine is gone. I'm stranded. To make matters worse, my atmospheric sensors indicate this planet's environment contains high levels of poisonous oxygen. My life support systems can function for only 30 days if I can't repair the dolphin by then. No, better not think about it. I must find the missing ship parts. See, you know, you get a little, little introduction. A little uh, introduction wow. to the, the main conflicts. He can't read oxygen because he's a space alien. He can't breathe oxygen because he has concussion. No. <laughs> That's why he just has brain damage. He has horrible brain damage. He's not an alien at all. He's just a little midget in a suit. I don't know if you can say that. I don't know if I can say Well, I just did. I'll deal with the consequences when I'm sober. It's a beautiful night. A strange thing is... I still don't understand. Well, you just don't what? Oh, he's a... So he's people. So he's a person. No, he's a Hawkatadian or, or a, a Hawkatation. I don't know how you spell it or say it. He's from a, a planet. the The weird thing about the Pikmin universe is, at first we thought, okay, this is one planet where all the the inhabitants look like tiny little elf people from Rankin Bass. But actually, what it is is all of these. The whole galaxy was just colonized by these elf people. And later on in Pikmin 3, we meet the, the Kopais. They're a completely different species, and yet they're still little elf people. But you want to know the difference between the, the Kopais and the, and the other guys? Is that Olimar has little squinty eyes and pointy ears, but the Kopais, they have big, full, round eyes, and they have uh, ears that are still pointed, but they're slightly rounded. You know, they still got elf ears, but they're a little rounder. Does that make any sense to you, Dan? I'm sure it's supposed to. Yeah. 
Oh, look, it's a Pikmin. Oh, look at that. I played this at a kiosk at McDonald's, uh, speed running obesity. That's very true, Severo. That's very sad. The seed that the onion dropped took root in the soil and has now produced an adorable little sprout. The sprout emits a strange light, and it sways back and forth without benefit of wind. I cannot help but think it is calling to me. I am compelled. I must approach it and press A. Well, I've never been one to disappoint. Look, it's a Pikmin. It's a little red nose. What does he do? Extraordinary. When I pluck the sprout, it turns out to be a living creature. No, not a plant. Picking it has done no visible damage. It just stands there staring at me. Its shape is similar to the pick pick red Menacingly. What now? Oh, menacing. Man yeah, it's just standing there. Menacingly. It's similar to the pick pick brand. The pick pick brand carrots I love so much. I believe I shall call it a pick pick. Here I am, stranded on a toxic wait, planet. Wait, whoa, wait spot. a minute, wait. What? He, he, he invented the word Pikmin. This isn't. Yeah. They're not. This isn't like a, a term. Yeah, no. Like a universally known term. Well, this is a. This is like a. a uh, what is it? What is it called? It's like a distant planet. That it's an uncharted planet. That's the thing. This guy goes from like a freight truck delivery driver to. Like Lewis and Clark to one of the one of the Lewis and Clark characters from history. Uh, the following. Oh, just like oops, we accidentally crash landed. We were trying to get to another place. Yeah. Are you this thing? No. No, we're they, different people. They oh, have you're that thing. Yeah. <laughs> the Pikmin have their own language and indigenous culture, but Olimar doesn't care. No, 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 no. I'm not gonna make those jokes. Those are easy jokes. The Pikmin form a symbiotic relationship to all of them. Oh, we've got five dollars from Liquid Snappy. Happy oh man. <laughs> happy Sand Rat. Pa happy Sand Patrick's Day. Oh. oh man. They're 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 snapping off on this they're one. Snapping off on this one. Snap into a big fat Slim Jim, eh, Dan? Yeah. Oh man. How do you feel about global warming? Uh, Pretty good, right? On subject. Yeah. <laughs> it's how I get it. Hot, a hot subject. Because the planet is warming up. We're all going to die. Well, what am I doing here? We've got to collect all these pellets so that we can build our own. What are you doing? Here? What am I, what now? What are, you, what, are, what are you doing here? Oh, well, I'm, uh, I'm gathering up my pick army. I know we talked about this a little bit before I showed you. The Pikmin are going to help me gather my uh, shit parts. Oh, there we go. That was a bit of a delay. That, that... Oh, whenever there's a... Yeah, you, you can kind of tell there's a little bit of a delay. Every time there's five dollars, the, you hear the Pikmin and this man-eating an apple uh, comes up. I don't know if you were there for that stream where we, we discovered Apple Man ASMR, but... That was magical. I... I wasn't. No, you weren't. Oh, come on now. Oh, this is the... This is the well, no, no, let's just... Game. Let's just... Let's just sit in this silence. Let's just sit here and... Let it just happen. It's like fishing, you know? It's, it's a little bit like fishing. Alright. There's a way to speed up the game a little what? bit. Because this is on the Dolphin what? emulator, I can hit tab. See, look at this. What is... What, 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 is, what do the Red Pikmin do? Oh, the Red Pikmin are immune to fire, and because of the little point on their nose, they're uh, slightly better at fighting than the other Pikmin. Which I didn't really realize, I didn't know as a kid, but, you know, somebody told me later on, oh, they're really good at fighting. And they are, they, they do more damage. They're brutality? Yeah, they're good at brutality, yeah. I know. So, like, they, they, so they fight. Yeah, they fight. Well, all of the Pikmin fight, but these ones do more damage. Pikmin are as curious as children. They form groups to perform tasks that would be impossible for an individual. A glimmer of hope has begun to shine in my heart. If I can make use of their skills, perhaps I can fix my ship. I shall sum up all I've learned of conduct. I don't want to... I don't want to see that again. No. We collect all the pellets so that we have the maximum amount of Pikmin for the day. 
Let's take a look. No. Let's no, we didn't. A, oh, we didn't. No, we did not, and we will be punished for our hubris. This is the slowest day, because not much happens on this day. I feel like not much happens in this game. Well, not much happens in my life, nor does it happen in your life. It's monotony and monotony, yeah. over and over again. Monotony and I'm, monotony. I'm a, rock, I'm a rock and roll guy. Yeah. All you wanted was rock and roll porn and a motorbike, but instead you got uh, a job at the yarn factory. Big smokestacks and conveyor belts full of, uh, of knitting equipment. I don't know if that's delving too deep into your personal life. I'm sorry. <laughs> I told you. I told you. Like, don't you mention my IP address. Don't you mention my street name. But now I'm like, tell me about your real life job. Don't. Don't you tell them about the about. <laughs> The toilet tank cover, or... Yeah. Don't tell them about the toilet tank cover. What, what about the toilet tank cover? Well, the time I broke the toilet or something like that? Yeah, you... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, one time I was masturbating really hard on the toilet because I just got out of the shower. I have a nasty porn addiction, a real nasty habit. And I was just going to town. I was leaning real hard on the toilet, right? And I heard a little crack kind of sound, but I was like, no, toilets don't crack. When has a toilet ever cracked? And lo and behold, the toilet cracked and there was water everywhere. And I just kind of <laughs> looked at the whole situation and I said, well, this is the punchline to the end of my life. I might as well kill myself now. But I didn't kill myself now. And actually, my two roommates, they were annoyed at me, but that was nothing new. They took it very well. I didn't tell them the whole story. The thing is, I told them I broke the toilet. I didn't tell them how they broke the toilet. But one of my roommates, he was feeling real down. Because he would do something. He would start drinking and getting down on himself. And be like, oh, I'm, uh, I'm sad. And it's like, <laughs> shut the fuck up. You're not a bad person. So I thought, I thought, you know what would make you feel better? You want to know how I broke the toilet? I masturbated on it. My entire life is a fucking joke. There, does that make you feel better about yourself? And it really didn't. It really didn't make it feel better. That was just me degrading myself. Degradating. The, oh, it's the, it's the engine. Look. It's the beautiful and engine. Then he went to a party. Yeah. And then he, uh, and then he went to a party with a bunch of, with a bunch of goth girls just hitting yeah. on him. Yeah. That's the thing. I don't want to get into that, uh fellow too much i know i know you don't you know i i i like that guy a lot i i still do fuck with him even if you don't um anyway this is gonna be a great stream look at that colander are you called it a colander see when 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 i uh i texted you about this i showed you this this ship part because you thought this was Pikmin 2 yeah. and we're collecting trash, and you said this is a colander. I said, no, it's fucking not. No, it fucking isn't. It is, though. No, it isn't. No, it isn't. Look at it's it. The thing, it's the helmet from Ghostbusters. No, it isn't. It's the, it's the, um, it's the helmet from Jimmy Neutron. The idiot helmet, or whatever it was. Remember that? Oh, the brain drain? Yeah. I'm Loopy, I'm Loopy, yeah. Loopy, Loopy, Loopy. It's a good episode. Man, what a, what a character. Yeah. Little baby Elon Musk. Yeah. Oh. oh, man. Sheen Carl, I just had a brain blast. I know how to fight back <laughs> against the woke mob. Wow, Jimmy, that's great. <laughs> Mark, if I buy Twitter, if we and, and I and I change its name to X, we can say all the racial slurs we want. That's a great idea, Jimmy. And then, of course, what what he doesn't count on is that the same uh, the same viewer base is still on there, and, and now they're willing to just dox you for for whatever reason, at the drop of a hat. Oh. I love the doxing is a door, pal. 
I mean, privacy is uncool. Let's just let's just you know yeah. make that clear. There are there are a lot of very smart people that agree with you, and that scares the shit out of me. That there are like there are MIT scientists that unironically share that fucking. <laughs> Which sucks because they all are like, oh, privacy. It's going to be so great when we don't have any privacy because, like, we'll all be connected in the singularity. Meanwhile, they're all working for, like, the higher ups that are, that are like, hey, can you, take my, can you take my mansion off of Google Maps? I really don't want people to know where I live. So that's, that's the world we live in. Anyway, it's the end of the day, so I'm going to take a swig of Seagram's. Oh, we got it. We got it. We got a nice. new comment. We got a what now? We got a new comment. Yeah, that's Satterall. Satterall's a crazy person. One time I sat on a banana and that changed my life forever. Well, I think she's lying. Hell yeah. Oh, that was a, that was a quote. Jimmy's dad's quote. Hmm. All right. Do you want to read this wonderful, uh, uh, diary entry there, Dan. Would you like to do some light reading? Oh, you're gonna make, you're gonna make gonna me make, do some stuff. I'm gonna God. make you do a little bit of work. Why not? Oh, cause I have terrible mole vision. Yeah. Uh, what is it? One day? Oh, one day since impact. I have somehow managed to launch the dolphin. But I was surprised to see the onion lift off with it, uh, with me. Perhaps the Pikmin cannot survive overnight on the planet's surface, or have they merely decided to join me for other reasons? Either way, it seems they will help me again tomorrow. What is what is this? It's it's a it's a diary, you know. Starting Captain's log. I've launched the dolphin, yeah. but I was surprised to see the onion. Oh, look, it may sound like a little bit, you know, the, does the narwhal bacon at midnight, but the dolphin is the name of his ship, and the onion is the name uh -huh. of the thing the Pikmin come out of, because it looks like the way an onion looks on his planet. Are you just eating, like, dough? What do you do? <laughs> I'm eating Chex Mix. It's an ASMR experience. <laughs> a good time. Okay. The dolphin right. is actually the experimental name of the GameCube. It was going to be the dolphin. So, that's why yeah. the ship is named after it. And that's also why in Mario Sunshine they live, uh, they go to Isle Delfino, which is Italian for dolphin. That's a big stretch. No, it is. It is. Uh, okay. okay, okay. I didn't, I didn't know. I'm ignorant. Hmm. Okay. Listen, buddy, I, I know what I'm talking about, okay? Oh boy. Dolphin is missing 29 oh, parts. Boy. I can't remember cover them all. I may never return home to my family on planet Hockatape. Analysis shows life support systems will function for only 29 more days. Can I repair the dolphin in such a short time? A dense forest is visible on the surface below as it holds the key to survival. I will name the forest Whoa, I will wait, name you... the forest of hope. I explore it tomorrow. He's just naming shit. Because there's, there's no other sentient life on this planet. If you don't get the parts, you die? Yeah. You straight up fucking die. Oh yeah, you're, it's a dark game. This is why I love these this series so much, is that it's a bunch of people's comfort game, but it shows how brutal nature can be, and it's also about a an explorer that's like, if, if, I, don't, if I don't do this right, if I fuck up, I might never see my fucking family again. Most other protagonists... The Force most... of Hope becomes a suicide forest. Oh, no. Yeah, most other Nintendo characters are like, Wahoo, I need to save the princess, and they're all happy-go-lucky. Or they're like Link, where he's very stoic. But Olimar is just like a fucking... A freight truck driver that's like, Oh, man, I, I might never see my son again. Time to go to the happy forest and kill everything when, I can. When does Louie show up? Louis shows up in Pikmin 2. He doesn't show up in this game. I'm, I'm afraid to say. Oh. <coughs> I'm sorry, your favorite character is in this game. <coughs> a little bit of checks mix went in my throat. <coughs> oh, this is going to be a great time. Oh, the great 
Pikmin 2. <laughs> it's got Louie in it. It's vintage date in 2005. This is gonna be a great part. You see this part over here? This is where we just sit there and wait for the Pikmin to knock down the bridge. Oh no. Oh, goodness me. You, you okay? Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> sure. I'm just gonna be coughing a little bit. Just got a little bit of coughing. Ah. Mm. Oh. Oh, what a beautiful day it is. Hold on, I'm gonna take my headphones uh, off and cough a little bit. Oh. So everybody, what, what color of Pikmin would you be? Alright, there you go. Oh. I'll continue. Yes, I'd love to continue. What a great series. So, huh? so what's your favorite color Pikmin? My favorite color Pikmin? Um, yeah. Well, I'm partial to the blue Pikmin, but I kind of like the purple Pikmin in, in Pikmin 2. But that might just be because mm. it's really overpowered, so I associate it with all the good things you can do in the game. <laughs> Time to kill these little dwarf bulbs. Oh my gosh. It's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, I learned about these dwarf... Yeah. Yeah, you just, I, I taught you about him. I just kill him. You just fucking kill him. Who gives a shit? They're just pests. They're just <laughs> actual pesticides. Yeah. Well, I mean, they're living their own lives. They're they're animals. They're they're sapient beings, just like me and you, they're trying to live their lives. But um, they're in the way of what we're trying to do, so we kill them. Someone's gotta go. The Pikmin need nourishment to survive, and therefore we must kill uh, other enemies before they kill us. I mean, we could just use that, take that big ten pellet to get some more Pikmin, but what I like to do more is I like the taste of meat. I like the taste of flesh and bone. <laughs> Say the Pikmin. I think that's very. I think it's very odd to say these things out loud. That like you have to feed the Pikmin, yeah. and they they kill. What do you think? It's random. Do you think it's a little so random? It's a little bit too wacky for you. <laughs> no, I just I, I I never I never thought past you know Pikmin. Yeah. You literally said in the video you were like, "Do you kill these?" And I said, "Oh yeah, yeah, you do." Did you think I was fucking with you? That was years ago. It wasn't years ago. It was fucking... It was last October. It, it feels like years ago. Yeah. Meanwhile, college feels like yesterday. It's called the persistence of memory. Uh, yeah, Vincent Van Gogh. No, not Vincent Van Gogh. A little... A little... Uh, a little artist named uh, fucking Dolly. Look him up, maybe. <clears throat> It's not just about melting clocks, okay, buddy? Oh, no, I, oh, I don't know how many drinks that is, but I'm just gonna take one with you. I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm yeah, counting yeah. that as one you, you drink. Gotta, you gotta take a count on uh, how many Pikmin you just get each. No. I think, oh, it, it, I think at the end of a battle, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna retcon and I'm gonna say at the end of a battle, if I lost Pikmin, I take a drink. If I lost a lot of Pikmin, I take a long drink. If I get, if I lost a lot of Pikmin, yeah. so how how much is is too many Pikmin to lose? Um, any of them. They're they're, they're these cute little critters. I don't want to lose any of them. Oh, now we have to retreat because I lost too many of these. <clears throat> I probably could have used some strategies. I could probably could have used a little bit of strategy to beat back these Pikmin. Just strategize Pikmin. <laughs> yeah. People are gonna love my groans and grunts. This is a professional operation here. It's fantastic. Yeah. This is just a little bit ASMR. <laughs> the funny thing is it's not this even the whiskey. You think it would be well, I'm not drinking whiskey, because I'm a pussy. I like my my drinks to taste yummy. But uh no, you'd think it would be the You're alcohol. Choking no. on chest mix. <laughs> I'm choking on chest mix, yeah. It's horrible. I thought I got a pretzel, but it turns out I got a I got a wafer. Oh, it was geez. very. Oh no! Well, I am just leading these motherfuckers to the slaughter. What you're supposed to do is you're supposed to uh, bum rush them. 
Oh, this isn't going very well, is it? I don't like this. <laughs> you know, in any other oh, place, I would probably yeah, drink so much. Oh, yeah, I'm going to have to drink a whole bunch. Hold on. No, I'm just okay. Now, you, you all take this back and we'll regroup. And uh, you guys over here will go over here. And... I'm not going to do... Usually, I try to maximize my run to see how many... Uh, you know, see how few days I can do this in. Because the whole point of Pikmin is you want to be efficient. You know, how much can you get done in how little time? But this is more of a casual playthrough for you crazy guys in the stream for the, the, the five of you in the audience. Oh, I forgot to drink. Hold on, let me drink. Yeah. So, so what's the God. shortest amount of days someone's beaten the game? I'm not sure. I think maybe like... I think six? Six or seven. I know, and at that point, like, if you want to beat it in the shortest amount of days, you have to... If you're doing some, like... Speedrun shit where you're you're exploiting a glitch. You know what? I'm gonna hold. Wait a minute. I keep thinking pressing the, the tab is gonna is gonna uh, lighten things up. Is gonna speed because this is thing is on this emulator on the Dolphin emulator. You can press tab to make time speed up, but that's actually just doing something on Streamlabs. Also, vodka for the win. Well, I'm not drinking vodka. I'm drinking Seagram's. Oh, man, you heard him. Chug, chug, chug. You gotta... Chug, you, chug, you chug. got it. Yeah. You're on the internet. Chug. You have to do whatever the audience says. Yeah, exactly. Oh, God, you weren't there for that one where, like, I was trying to... Oh, oh the day's half over. Where does the time go? We're over the hill now. Oh, we're over the hill now. Were you there for the... You probably didn't see this, but there was a video where I was I was watching some YouTube channel commentating on it, and then somebody came in and was like, Goodly, you need to you need to listen to the Booty song. You need to listen to Miss New Booty. And I was like, what the fuck does... What do you mean I have to listen to Miss New Booty? It's a copyrighted song. But I did it anyway, because I'm a crowd pleaser. <laughs> and I mistook the man singing it. I don't know if you're, you're aware of the Miss New Booty. Booty, 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 I'm booty rocking everywhere. Booty, booty, booty. Yes, you've heard that. Booty, 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 rocking everywhere. You've heard it. You've absolutely Yeah, it's Bubba Sparks. Yeah. Bubba yeah, Sparks, yeah, yeah, yeah. and I mistook Bubba Sparks for that guy who did the I'm Only Human song. I'm only human after all. I'm only human after all. Don't put the blame on me. You know, because he, he's also like a fat southern guy. Turns out, different guy. Different fucking guy. Oh man. Time to bummer. Like, this like guy. Big Smo? Big Smo? Who's Big Smo? Big Smo. Big Smo was like a. He was like a southern. Oh, I have to drink. He was like a country. He was a country rapper. Hmm. He sang, uh. He, he, he sang the hit song, Try That in a Small Town. <laughs> It's a very threatening. I've heard this song. It's like a southern song. It's a very threatening song. It's like, oh, you want to do, you want to do bad things? Try doing that in my small town, you big city liberal. I, I wonder yeah, what. Yeah, he's got another song. Uh, you know. Yeah. What, what song is it called? Don't let the sun go down on you. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> that's a good song. That, 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 there's an actual song called "I Won't Let the Sun Go Down on Me." But you're not talking about that song. You're talking about... <laughs> I am. You're talking about a horrible... You don't know what I'm talking about. You're talking about a horrible practice in America where if you're in the wrong uh, neighborhood and the sun goes down um, and you're the wrong color, then bad things happen to you. I have a bit. I don't support that. I, I don't. I really do. That's very blunt of you to just say that. Yeah. What do you mean blunt? What, do you want me to fucking dance around it? Look, it's the eared Pikmin. It's the big eared Pikmin. They do something slightly different. The color is different, but it seems what? to be a Pikmin nonetheless. First glance suggests one has what, in some circles, would be considered very large ears. I mean, that's a very esoteric way of saying it. It looks like uh, it may weigh less than the others, so he's 
she, he's thin shaming it. In what other ways might it be different from the red Pikmin? No matter, they are obviously quite similar too. I shall call this one a Pikmin as well. We are all equal under uh, whatever Olimar is doing here. No, 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 you don't get to. The thing is, if you. How do I. Oh, wait a minute, I think I have to. How do I deconstruct the philosophy that is Pikmin? Yeah. This is the thing is, if you, uh, if you have a yellow Pikmin carry that yellow one, you get two Pikmin instead of one. But if, but if a, a boring old red carries it, you just get one red Pikmin. And we need these yellow Pikmin because the, what these yellow Pikmin do is they carry bomb rocks. They're bombs. They're bombs, yeah. These aren't Pikmin, they were made in a bomb factory. They're bombs. Oh, boy. <sighs> Wonderful. Boy. Stop drawing. Yeah. Oh, goodness me. Oh, gracious. Oh, why is that old crazy old garbage oh, like that? I haven't collected any ship parts. All the mirrors going to fucking die. Look here. <laughs> it's a bomb. <laughs> a little suicide bomb. <laughs> Someone tell that dog to keep it down. I'm YouTube streaming. <laughs> I'm a bad guy. I'm not very good at it. I forget. How do I... How do... There's got to be a way... I think there's supposed to be a way to toggle between these motherfuckers. If this dog doesn't... Get in the way. Stop getting in the way of me and my Pikmin. I'm gonna just hold on. I'm gonna pause. I spent a lot of hours just trying to emulate this children's game. Hold on there. I was almost gonna bring my headphones down because the shit is coming from my headphones. I'm gonna just hold on there. Entertain the chat. <laughs> uh, say some stupid shit uh, for the chat so the chat will laugh. So. I gotta go find out why this dog's interrupting my stream. Ugh. You know, he started. He 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 told me a while ago. He's like, "Hey, I'm gonna do some streams. You think you you would ever like wanna you know do one later?" I'm like, oh yeah, like maybe like yeah, a good while down. And I think it's been probably like a month. And he's like, "Hey, so like yeah, uh, this week you wanna be my my Pikmin co-pilot?" Like, so it didn't take a lot of time. Oh man, I hope that dog's okay. Oh, everything's all good. Everything's okay. Everything's just fine. You take care of the problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, hell yeah. Pat him on the head, and I. Oh no, no, no! I get it. I know what you did. Yeah, I. Get I it. gave him a drink, and I pat him on the head, and I. Oh yeah, I bet you did. Bid yeah. him goodbye, and I sent him to bed. Real peaceful drink. Real what now? A real peaceful drink. <laughs> You're accusing me of things that I didn't do. I hear you, man. We'll talk about it later. <laughs> yeah. We'll talk about it later. Oh, I think some. I think one of them died. One of them fucking. Oh, well, oh well. Where's my fucking stupid little drink? Oh boy. Where's my dumb, stupid, little, stupid drink? God, I love myself. God, I hate myself. I think every time... Better I hear that dog again. Yeah. Well, every time he barks, his eyes roll over weight. <laughs> like a doll's eyes. I th there's got to be a way to... The thing is, I'm getting frustrated because I absolutely know there is a way to change... The Pikmin. I just forget which button it is. Oh, fuck me. Uh. Oh, well. You know what they say. I hate my life. <laughs> it's a great game. If any, I, I, it looks, looks terrific. It does, yeah. 
you know, it's a very sobering game. It's about life. It's about death. It's about, uh, you know, appreciating your loved ones. Appreciating the beauty of nature. You know, unironically, it really is about appreciating the beauty of nature, even when it's trying to kill you. I respect that a lot about uh, Mr. Captain Olimar. He's one of the best uh, characters in video gaming. And he's one of the best characters in the whole Pikmin series, even though there's quite a lot of them later on. Quite a lot of characters here. And it's not just... It's not just about the joys of conforming. It's about how healthy you can be. <laughs> hey, Louie! This is for not getting us a reservation at the Hockatate Bright, you piece of shit! You know, stab, stab. Oh, it's not worth getting it. Oh. I wasted so much time today. Oh, no. How long are days? I think they're like... 10 minutes, 9 minutes, 12 minutes. Wow. They go by faster and faster. Think, 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 donk. Think, oh. think, no, I can't do that. I hate myself because I will start singing along to the music, and as you know, nobody wants to, that's the Let's Player's curse. Nobody wants to hear a Let's Play where the guy is singing along to the music. That's dumb. It's a bad practice. You know well. what? Oh, yeah. What? Well, what? You go, you say something. No, I got nothing. Oh, okay. I was gonna say, nobody wants me to sing along to the music. What they want to hear is me, uh, chewing and slurping and, and burping and, and choking on a <laughs> single, uh, crumb Just of sex mix. dying, dying early into your own stream. Yeah. It's great. Two days since impact, it appears that many of the ship's parts have landed in this region. If I can just recover the parts of my radar, I should recover the parts of... I should be able to use my radar screen. Ah, uh, how that would improve my chances. Then I'd only have to press Y to locate my parts. Yet, there seemed to be oh, that, so many... That, that would suit you. That was to what now? That would suit you. Yeah, it would suit me, yeah. Yet, there seem to be so many hostile light forms here. If I am attacked and my space chute takes damage, I must return to my ship, stand in front of it, and press A to make uh, suits uh, repairs. As I explore, I must pay attention to my suit's damage meter in the bottom left corner of the screen. That is poetry. That is poetry. I mean, we've all been there. We've all been, you know, in a, at a time in our lives where we take damage. And our space suit takes damage and we need to stand in front of our ship. It means you know, it's it's a lot of layers what he's saying. You know, you can you can read it on the surface or you can choose to dig to, to dig a little deeper. I personally choose to dig a little deeper. Oh, it's the end of the day, time to drink. I get it. It's, it's a dig deeper, it's a big man. Oh, I didn't even mean that. I'm a fucking genius. Alright. Oh goodness now, Mr. Mushroom. Uh, regular mushroom. I don't know if you know this guy. How does it hang, Goodly? Okay. Usually some bad shit happens to me on Ides of March, but not this time. I can't complain. No. Bad things aren't going to happen to you. Instead, bad things are going to happen to me. Because I've been drinking. Oh, yes, I've been drinking. Say He's done yes. so many beers. Yeah. I had a Mike's Harder and a Seagram's. I, I don't do whiskey. I don't do vodka. I'm a pussy who wants my drinks to be fruity. I like my drinks a little fruity, just like me. And even then, the, the, these 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 drinks, they're upsetting my tummy tum. Yeah. <laughs> I want my drinks to be fruity enough to say gay slurs and get away with it. It's a form of breeding. All right, here we go. Time to pick up the plants that we didn't get yesterday. But the funny little thing, do you know about the little mechanic where the Pikmin over time, if you leave them planted in the ground, they'll go from leaves to buds to flowers, and the flowers are a little bit more powerful than the buds. They're a little bit more powerful. No! No, they didn't. Yeah, they're a little bit more powerful than the bud lights I've been downing before I got onto this... Uh, Public yeah. No, I don't drink beer. Beer is disgusting. It tastes like horse piss. It tastes like horse cock. 
<laughs> I didn't realize you were a farmer. Yeah, oh yeah, daddy, I'm a little bit of a, yeah. Whenever I see a, <laughs> a, a horse, I just, I, I have a shocked expression on my face. I run over, I'm like, daddy, look! Daddy, look, I'm a fuck. Did you know, I, I know I fucking showed you this. That got into the fucking, I keep forgetting what this shit is called. It's the collection of important films. The fuck, I'm looking this up because last time I, I tried, Mushroom was here. I tried to say it and I made a fool out of myself. I said the, the, the fucking Salmonillion or whatever. The Salmonillion? <laughs> no, 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 the Criterion Collection. I don't know if you're aware of the Criterion Collection. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's a, that's a collection that's where of important... I get, where yeah. I get my, my funny games and uh, my... my uh, you found funny games is in the funny games is in the criteria. Yeah, funny games is in the criterion oh. collection. Yeah, I based the snowman character vaguely off of that in Onion Punch, but you haven't seen it yet. But you're gonna later. I'm still working off on of a funny game. games character. Yeah, because uh, there's a character that has a golf club. It's mostly based off a of Clockwork <laughs> Orange, but then she's got a golf club, so I could say, oh yeah, it's kind of like funny games too. Is it, is it kind of like that, that, that time you watched uh, Tenacious D? Yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah they, just, they just show up. That's the thing is I just watched that fucking movie like a week ago and then they that, that scene they show up to fucking the, the like off-brand Alex the Large Gang and I'm like, oh man, it's those guys. It's like from the <laughs> I know that thing. Did you write this? Did you? Yeah, oh, that, that was... Uh, a daily question that you ask. Every single time you saw something in a film, like every other time something weird happened, you would turn to me and be like, Did you find a very big script? <laughs> we were watching, oh. like, The Toxic Avenger 2, and there was a part where, like, he took a croquet mallet and, like, whacked somebody with a top hat, and then they turned into little, like, they scrunched up into the top hat, and there were little feet sticking out that were waddling away, and you were like, Yeah, I think you wrote Toxic Avenger 2. Electric Boogaloo. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, no, Mushroom says, You only drink fruity drinks? You say the Cobra parallels never stop. I'm not King Cobra JFS. That is not what's up, Tubes. So you're not going to get any of this. You don't get any of this. I have no idea what you're talking about. It's a, it's a lol cow thing. It's just lol cow things. You know? What is lol a lull cow is basically, well, you know how sometimes you feel bad about yourself and how you haven't accomplished enough in life? You feel a little bit listless, and you feel a little bit like, I'm, I'm looking for more. Well, there are people on the internet who have accomplished even less than you, and sometimes looking into their lives is, is sort of funny, especially because they go out of their way to post way too much information. And in that kind of schadenfreude, Oh, wait, you feel a little bit better about your life choices. And how horrible your life is. That's what a lol cow is, and King Cobra is one of such people. He thinks he's a wizard. He lives in an apartment his dad pays for, and he sells wands made out of copper wire, and he makes horrible food. Of course, you don't give a shit about any of this, do you? That's, that just, that sounds all kinds of just awful. It is. Well, it's the internet, Dan. Welcome to the internet. You'd be glad you don't live here. I shouldn't either. I shouldn't. I, I gotta. I gotta get a life, but I don't really know how. Yeah. Don't spiral. I'm, don't spiral like a, now. I'm like a junkie, you know. I'm like a heroin junkie. I don't know how to. I need my fix. I don't think you need. I think it's exactly. I think you know addiction. I don't think you need to. I don't think you need to explain. I'm like a heroin junkie. Yeah, it's like a. <laughs> Yeah, it's exactly the same thing. It's exactly the same thing. If if you have ever suffered from uh, heroin abuse, put a five, six, seven, eight in the chat. And if you haven't suffered from heroin abuse and you've never uh, abused the substance in your life, put uh, ha ha fuck fuck addicts in the chat. Fucking addict. Fucking addict, Dan. I'd be living my life. That's mean, that's really mean. You, the thing that I, I feel said. like you live like an addict. Yeah, I live like an addict. 
I'm high on life, like that game uh, by Justin Roiland, High on Life. Go so before he got out and for, for punching women or whatever he did. I think he, uh, I think now we just hate him for having too much money. Yeah, we, oh yeah, yeah, probably. He, he did some, he was very creepy with that, uh, summer character that he created. You know, man, I didn't, I didn't watch Rick and Morty. You didn't? Oh, you're no. missing out. You didn't go to the McDonald's? The only time I ever saw Rick and Morty is when I was in college and you guys would watch. Yeah, but the thing is, you did watch it by proxy because you were in the room with us. Anything we watched, you watched. You watched the Five Nights at Freddy's Let's Plays. You watched the Markiplier Let's Plays. That's that was a big... That was, that was a lot of time wasted. Yeah. Welcome to my life. Hey. Hey. Easy now. We gotta go to the zoo or something. You wanna go to the fucking zoo? Uh, maybe. Yeah. St. Paddy's Day, nice St. Paddy's Day trip to the zoo. There's not gonna be any people there. They're too busy in bars on that day. Sure. I probably shouldn't have dropped that on you when, when people were. We'll talk about it later. Daddy will talk about it later. This is a little beetle that you beat the shit out of to get uh, nutrients out of it. You just harass this beetle. Oh, beetles. He's a big bad beetle board. He's not so big and bad anymore. Oh, uh, the beetle who? Beetle. Are they a new rock band? The beetle boards, yeah. Two kids walked into an alley. What was it, Slivers? No, yeah, there, there was that character in the Beetleborg who was Flabbers, and uh, Flabbers. For those of you that don't know, this show had a had a. He was like a, a like a, a blue Elvis character, but he was also like the genie from Aladdin, but he wasn't funny. And we came up with a, an evil version of this character named uh, Flippers or something. And Flippers was just a bad dude. Like we don't need to get into what he does. But he's not a good dude. <laughs> and the, the, the thing is, like, the kid summoned him in an alley and he shows up and he's like, Ah, you really, you really did not want to summon him. You should not have done that. <laughs> you're, gonna, you're gonna regret this, kids. Uh, you know, it all works out. Oh. It all comes out to wash. Ah, uh, uh, it's all gonna be alright. Yeah. It's all gonna be alright, that's what, uh, yeah. You've gotta face that, you've gotta face it. It'll be alright. You've gotta face what now? Huh? Hmm. What's that? What? Oh, what? Man, your, your Pikmin are getting me. I hope you are just... I'm broken, I'm I hope it. I want to... Oh. I want you to be wearing one of those like novelty hats, and yeah. just it has two cups of 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 just Mike's Hard Lemonade, and just the oh. straw, just like <laughs> this pretty warm and Jensen hat. Yeah, and just a sad yeah. face. I'm just sad. I'm mourning the death. I'm like, we're so young. <laughs> Ooh, that's good. Mm, <laughs> lemonade. It's like that fucking. Uh, I can Simpsons taste all the sugar. Bit. Yeah, it's like that Simpsons bit where uh, Homer raises a lobster and then he uh, he's like eating it <laughs> as he mourns it. Remember that bit? That's a good bit. Yeah. Oh boy. You ever if watch you... The Simpsons? Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you like Big Bad Beetleborgs, if you like the obscure show Big Bad Beetleborgs, put a beetle emoji in the chat. And if you would rather prefer watching The Simpsons, put Homer Simpson pissing in the chat. 
Now, how you choose to it's represent that? It's a big, big, that. big, 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 big <laughs> bad beetle boy. Big, big, bad beetle boy, yeah. <laughs> Super Mega is back, Dan, did you know? They're back again. Oh, God, I... <laughs> no, you're over, Super Mega. Dude, I didn't... What? Are you over Super Mega? Do you not like him no more? Yeah, 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 I have, but yeah. Oh. I thought you changed their, your mind when they came back around. No. Oh. I mean, we still have that one episode where they play the VeggieTales Bad Apple game. That's one yeah. bad apple. You never let it die. No, well, you don't let it die either. I do it subconsciously and then you fucking... You I know, play... but I have to remind you. Why do you have... No, you don't have to remind me. You don't have to do anything. No, the worst part... The worst part of you doing it... What? Is not knowing you're doing it. Yeah. You've got to remind me. Well, I've got to remind you. You, you, don't, you want to know the only things you have to do, Dan? You have to smile mm -hmm. and blow me. That's what you got to do. Oh, jeez. That's harassment. It is harassment, but it's okay. We're friends. So it's all good. Sophie Jawanski, or whatever her name is, you need, you need to get you need to get in on this. Oh, I'm gonna get you off here. You're gonna get me what now? Yeah. Oh man. I collected uh, absolutely. What is this mushroom? It's a oh, it's a little it's a little yellow circle, and it's the uh, like the sweat emoji or the the rain emoji. That's very clever, mushroom. It's a very clever way to represent Homer pissing. We've got very clever people you know in the chat. To be completely honest, I forgot that was the thing that was even Good. happening. You gotta pay attention. How many alcohols in are you? I'm 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 one. I gotta you know okay, good. one. That's good. You're the designated streamer for tonight. So we don't want you to get too drunk. I hate all these buttons. Oh, I hate man. all these buttons, dude. These buttons. I don't, there's no way to organize. I don't think it's the same as fucking uh, Pikmin 2. Because Pikmin 2, you start throwing them, and you have ways to, like, toggle through the different ones. This one, you just got to run into the right one, and then I hope they line up like that. No. Get the fuck out of here. Happy St. Patrick's so, Day. What? Happy Thanksgiving. Yeah. Come on out, you red and yellow. Come and fight me like a fellow. Tell your wife how you won medals down in Pikmin 1. Tell them how that, uh... you fought one with your big fat Pikmin gun. I've made no progress today. I've made absolutely no progress. And several of my troops have hey. died. Come on, man. You just gotta, you just gotta, like, you know, play I gotta, Pikmin. I gotta believe in myself. I gotta believe. Yes, he has been. When's the fourth SpongeBob movie? What, uh, pretty soon, I think. They're, they came out with a, they're coming out with it. We only need the first movie and the second movie because I saw that. Somebody sent me a torrent of that over Discord, and I was like, I watched it, <laughs> I, I watched it, and I was like, you know what, this movie is good too. This isn't as good as the first one, but it's fine. Third one looks like complete shit, I don't need to see that one. Oh man, there's a fourth one, it's the Sandy Cheeks movie. Yeah, the Sandy Hook movie. And then there's gonna be a fifth one. Yeah. <laughs> Sandy, Sandy... Sandy, I don't think you could say that. I, I I don't think I think people grieve differently. You can't say that they're actors. SpongeBob, you fucking idiot! <laughs> I know I know it was a, it was a orchestrated by the shadow government. It's all a lie. Those kids never died, SpongeBob. They were actors. Sandy, you don't sound right. I had a big bowl of chili, SpongeBob. I forgot my children's names. Uh, apparently, apparently in Wikipedia, Wikipedia tells me the Sandy Cheats movie was leaked in its entirety uh, in in January it on, was on Twitter. 
What's what? I didn't see that shit. I don't remember seeing that shit. <laughs> well, do you do you follow Nickelodeon? No, I don't. Well, there you go. I follow several people that make me mad. Even though I keep hitting not interested, not interested, not interested, and blocking and muting all the people with opinions that have sent me, I still log in every day, and lo and behold, there's an opinion that makes me want to throw my phone against the wall. Mental well, illness. Mental fucking illness. Anyway, you want to read day three, buddy? Some homework for you. Day three, sense impact. I'm now at Yellow Pikmin's when I list of the discoveries. These creatures can wield bomb rocks, so perhaps I can use them to blast down rock walls and open up new regions. Mm. Red and Yellow Pikmin as well as... Wait, whoa, what? Red and Yellow Pikmin... Red and Yellow Pikmin as well as, as, well as bomb rock, rock carriers. Suicide bombs, Break yes. into squads when dismissed <laughs> with X. Yeah. Or... When, I can't. You're in the way. I, or oh, when grab one for a moment by holding A. When no. I grab one for a moment by holding. A. That's the thing about this format is my little sprite gets in the way sometimes. I apologize. Part of it's the... very Andy Kaufman of you. <laughs> no, Andy Kaufman would do that on purpose. I'm just doing it. Dude, it's just, just unironic. Are, are, you, are you just eating a box of, of Munchkins right now? What are you doing? I got a bagel. Mm. <laughs> it's good to fill up on bread when you have a bunch of booze in your system. It helps to soak it up. You, you were just... What? Uh, you were just something else. You choose to hang out with me. I don't know why the fuck. <laughs> I wouldn't. Mm. Another beautiful day. Ah, oh, uh, yes. Great, it looks so uncomfortable. What do you mean? It looks uncomfortable, it's like humid. It does look a little humid, it does look like there's a little bit of fog. In my mind's eye, I always think of GameCube graphics as bright and colorful, but it is a little bit uh, gray and drab and, and uh, sub subdued. It's really not as like colorful as I as I kind of assumed it would be. Yeah. Like I said, the persistence of memory. Uh, now let's go get that ship for it. Oh hey, we got we got we got another pump. Yeah. We got one slapped one down. Yeah. <laughs> Who gives the better hit, Louis or Olimar? I'd rather not answer that. Olimar, because he wants you to feel he, he wants you to like be happy. Louis's not gonna care. No, Louis is a selfish lover. Louis yeah, Olimar Olimar is just like, oh gee, well okay, well I mean as long as you like it. No, yeah. Louis would would uh he's one of those people he bangs you and he comes before you come and then he rolls over and falls asleep. And you're like, Louis I didn't get Louis it. smokes in bed. Oh yeah, he does. No, he's real proud. Like, all he knows is the jackhammer. But he's real proud of it. Like, oh man, I bet that was great for you. And you gotta, you gotta <laughs> pretend. You gotta fucking... Louis's not a good guy. Louis's a bad dude. <laughs> oh, Louis. Yeah, Louis's a bit screwy. He has questionable motives in life. Yeah, well, I mean, he ate a bunch of carrots and then lied about it. And when his company went bankrupt, he didn't even give a shit. You want to know what Louis's biggest crime oh. is? You don't know this. Louis's biggest... Oh, it's the, the extraordinary bolt. It's a giant fucking screw. Louis's biggest crime is that he just takes no accountability for anything he does. 
Like, you can forgive everything he does if he was just like, alright guys, sorry. I'll be better next time. But he just does not give a shit. He just belches loudly and says, when's lunch? That's Louis' whole motto. I'm not a big Louis fan. Actually, no, I, I think Louis kind of a fun character, but he is a bad dude. Hmm. He's one bad apple. Yeah. See, that's now you're doing it. Now you're doing it, you're gonna give me shit for it? That's not fair. I don't know what you're talking about. What? Oh, Louis a bad apple. Louis is a bad apple. I don't know what you're talking about. You wanna know another bad apple? The creepypasta happy happy. Oh no! Don't call. Oh god! <laughs> Oh, fuck me, I didn't mean to wake that motherfucker up. Time to drink. Oh, oh. no. Sounds like he's drinking it. Oh, fuck me! I really oh, should have paused fun. when I grabbed my Seagram's. <laughs> this is great, this is a Thanksgiving <laughs> feast over here. Great. <laughs> I'm like the uncle you never wanted. Oh, the bomb rocks killed him. I think I should drink a little bit more. It is. That one's not a drink of failure, that's a drink of celebration. That I killed a creature accidentally. Goodness yeah, God. huzzah. Huzzah. Huzzah, huzzah, huzzah. This is the Nova Blast, and this emits a dazzling burst of light capable of destroying almost anything. Not exactly sure about this, but the promotional brochure claims that its blast can travel in currents of space-time smashing through stars and into the rifts of space. So, a lot of people have commented, if he just used this device that he has installed in his ship, he could have probably blasted the meteor and he wouldn't be in this mess, but for some reason he chose not to. Come on, Olimar, get it mm. together. <laughs> what were they thinking? Yeah. Pikmin, more like, pick the shit out of my ass. Well, I picked the, the the dick hairs out of my out of my cock and scrolled them. Hey, hey, why do they call him Hitchcock? Oh, because he would take his. You people aren't gonna know that that inside joke. That's an inside That's joke. It's just funny. It is very funny. Yeah, yeah. Is he stupid? Oh, is who stupid? Mushroom. That's not very specific. There's a lot of stupid people uh, right around you right now. <laughs> you want to know why they call him Alfred Hitchcock? Is because he had an abnormally uh, long foreskin, <laughs> and he would uh, take a trailer, and he would uh, no 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 he would there would be a, a truck you know the part of the the truck you would uh, put on the trailer he would hitch that to his cock and uh, they'd pull him around. Are you fucking happy now? Are you fucking happy that they... <laughs> you were indignant the first time. You were angry at me. You were like, why, Goodly? Why do they call him Hitchcock? Why? Why Why in the world? <laughs> He's got, like... He's... Oh, the next level we can go to another area if we so please. Is it? Is it also a kind of land color ballad? Yeah. Well, I mean, look, the yeah. GameCube, this this is was the era where the GameCube was going for, you know, showing off somewhat realistic graphics, and I think it works for what it is. It's a unique atmosphere. If you don't like it, you can mm -hmm. shove it up your cock. Yeah, hey, calm down, Bob Fossil. Okay. I'm king of the, I'm king of, it's not king of the zoo, it's king of zoo. For the five of you that that know the show The Mighty Boosh, you might be thinking, hey, I recognize that reference. But for those of you that don't, uh, whoops, I'm sorry. My sincerest apologies. Alright, so what are we what are we collecting? What are we on the search for? What are we on the hunt for? I don't know. We're just kind of uh, drifting through aimlessly. This is a very Come on, anything. Game. This is a very sad. Tell me something. Um, uh, children. What are we on the hunt for? What's happening? Uh, All right. Well, uh, 
That's not a good don't thing. don't know why you would yes and children. <laughs> I don't know. That's probably the worst thing I could have said. Ever. The worst fucking... Oh, I remember. Yeah, we can go over here. <laughs> What's that up, a, guys? Is that a pack of ball boards? No, that's just one. What's up, guys? We're at Epstein Island here. And we're on the <laughs> we're on the hunt for kids. It's a catch and release program, you know. Oh Jesus Christ! No, we catch the kids and then we and then we we fly them off the island. We're good guys. We're good people. Huh? Oh no! Oh, oh God okay, is punishing okay, me. Okay, okay. God punished me for that horrible joke. He's gonna eat all of these mother. So, so, so a ball board, a ball board just a rip off of a of a PD piranha, right? No, no. Just because it's got polka dot, I always thought it was like a, a ladybug frog beetle thing. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Cool. 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 What do you know about cool, man? You're just a fool. Hey. Like me. You know, you should stop. Reading that fool book and start reading your school book. Yeah. But I am a fool, Dan. Look at my outfit and overall aesthetic. I am kind of a jester as fool. And fools are supposed to fail. You look like a guy. I look like a what? You look like a guy who, who saw Night Before Christmas and he's like, yeah, I'm going to dress up as that, like, one <laughs> kind of like. The Harlequin Demon, yeah. I think that's what this, his name yeah. is. Yeah. You only ever saw the movie once, and you're like, yeah, I think it's, yeah, this is pretty much it. <laughs> that's about it. That's because he was, like, I based my hat, because the thing is, you saw the original design where it was literally just, like, a fucking gray fedora with a penis on it. And I was like, yeah. you know, this, this looks too unironic. <laughs> this looks like I'm actually, I actually think the fedora is cool, so I was like, I gotta do something different. So I'm like, oh, I'll wear, like, a jester hat. That's the thing, that character was based on, like, the way a jester looks. That's why he fucking, like, you're like, oh, you're like, you tried to base it off that guy, but you got it wrong. No, you idiot, they based it. Other way around. Other way around. I like Fight how you're thinking adding a fedora to your design is, like, you, like, oh, no, it's too serious. Welcome back to the channel, guys. Welcome back to the Whispering Whistler. <laughs> the Whispering what? Whizzler. The Whizzler, yeah. That's right. I, 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 I create scenarios where I talk about Kingdom Hearts and why it was difficult for me to understand yeah. the map. Yeah. I gotta change my name to the Whispering Whizzler now. That's a great name. <laughs> I think somebody, I think somebody here. Hmm. Hold on, I don't go. Hmm. Mm, now it's full of bagel. But, uh, I think it was Mushroom. It was either Mushroom or what was this person named Jeremy. Uh They said that I, I look like uh, a cereal mascot for like hemp based products or something like that. <laughs> I look like, no, I look like a homeless cereal mascot, I think is what it was. Homeos? Mm. Yeah, opios, yeah. There's a free needle in every box. Is it used or is it abused? You decide, you find out. You look like you look like the joke. Uncle Touchy's magic puzzle base. No, no, I don't. Uncle Touchy's <laughs> magic puzzle basement. You don't wear a shirt and you cry. I think that was Pat Oswalt's best thing yeah. he ever did. Man, I wish that guy didn't. I wish that guy didn't suck. I, he still does. That. He's in the new Ghostbusters. Did you see the commercial for the new Ghostbusters? I don't care. I'm not going to watch it, but he's in it. He's in it. He did it. Are you, are you too nostalgic for, for the original Ghostbusters? I don't really... It's not even that. It's not even brand loyalty. It's just like... It's not like I'm like, oh, man. 
fuck this movie. It's more just like, yeah, I've seen enough Ghostbusters. I've seen one or two. That's all you need to see. Ghostbusters... Ghostbusters was pretty on constantly in, yeah. um... College. Yeah, it was. I remember we watched the show. Like, we, uh, you weren't there for that. Me and a couple people, we made a shit ton of mashed potatoes and we drank some Mike's Horns again and we watched <laughs> Ghostbusters. That's how you're supposed to send... No, that was on St. Patrick's Day. That was... How you're supposed to send, spend St. Patrick's Day, I think. Time to drink again. Because I died. I just remember the, the St. Patrick's Day, your your roommate turned 21. Yeah. And he was... And we were like, hey, man, you want to, like, get us some, some beer? And he was like, oh, guys, I don't know. I mean, you... Uh, you gotta be, you know, I don't think you're mature or responsible enough to, to, <laughs> to, to, to... <laughs> Meanwhile, he was re very responsible, yeah. That oh, was... yeah, he's, like, ripping me 24-7 and yeah. trying to, like, hit on girls with a broken arm. Was that, now, was that the first roommate first year that smoked a bunch of weed and then left and his parents were mad at him? No, that was the second, oh, what was that was the second roommate. Old Beanpole, yeah. He was, he was really <laughs> tall and very thin, and had a womanly uh, physique. I miss that guy. I, I, I want to hang out with that guy. I don't know what the fuck happened to him. I think he's still in Europe, probably. Probably, uh, he just, like, smoked so much weed he forgot he was in Europe and forgot to leave. Okay, let me see. People who were kids in the 80s really can't let their childhood go. And so now they only let us play with Ghostbusters and fucking Star Wars. Well... I don't think it's the people in the 80s who, who are responsible for that. It's it's big corporations that are pandering to kids from the 80s. It's uh, nostalgia yeah. hijackers who want to sell us the things we remember but make them uh, boring and lame and inferior products compared to the original. You remember they, when they brought back Ecto Coolant and Ecto Coolant coming back made yeah. more than the actual Ghostbusters yeah. movie? Yeah, because it was a quality product and the the, the all female Ghostbusters was not. Which is the thing is I know people defend that film. I know a guy who's like, you know, I saw it and it wasn't that bad and it's like Yeah, okay, it wasn't that bad, but like was it something that you even like remember fondly? Did that did that movie make an impact on you at all? is the problem. Yeah. A lot of media nowadays, it doesn't want to make an impact. It wants to bank off the impact of the existing fucking property that you already know about, that you have probably already saw because your parents have shown it to you or you've caught it on TV. That's a problem with modern Hollywood. That and all the, the you know, the child sex rings and uh, sexual assault. But, you know, bigger, more important you gotta, problem, you gotta... they bank off nostalgia way too much. I know, they gotta stop, you're right, they gotta fucking cut it out with that. Yeah. Before we started this stream, I you tried. really got you, 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 you sent me a serious message that was like, oh, listen, oh, you can't, you, you can't, like, go and, like, say, like, these things, alright? Like, uh, this is, like, yeah. serious time, okay? Yeah. You can't divulge any information, yeah. and you need to, like, keep it in line. Yeah, exactly. Am I really saying anything that isn't true, is the thing. Am I really saying anything that's that off? That shit happens. That no, shit absolutely I... happens. And I'm just pointing it out. Why are you so brave? Oh, yeah. I, I don't know. Yeah, I am kind of a hypocrite. That's the thing is I'll say fucked up shit, but I'm afraid that somebody else is going to say something. This is the problem especially when you're in the same community that I am, is I know that I... I know how far I'm willing to go. But what I'm afraid of is that there's somebody that's willing to go even farther than me. And I'm like, oh, God. Oh, God. I can't let that happen. I'm going to take a big, fat piss. Will you read day four for me? Sure. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Four days since impact. Pikmin that I did not bring back to the Onion all vanished overnight. Jesus. What happened to them? It may be well that they have fallen prey to the planet's nocturnal creatures. Oh, I 
way to sentence. I... Okay. An ugly thought. Perhaps that's why they follow me into the atmosphere. I am starting to grasp the cycle of life of this planet. I... You know, just... This is some crazy... Almost David Bowie type stuff. This is... This is... This is, this is a Monster Magnet song written by David Bowie. What are you up to, you crazy cat? Did you finish it all? I was, I was just... I, I was just, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, okay, good. As brave as I a fat woman... I was just saying woman... about a uh, question. About a question, yeah. Yeah. Somebody said something, I'm as brave as a fat woman teaching improv. I don't know what that means. I assume it's insulting. Oh, fast enough, fast that dance too fast. Yeah. I did. I really plopped into my chair. I plopped into my chair and I had like an orgasm. Whoa, I said. You're too <laughs> and then I swiveled around. Just like, mouthful of chest mix. Throat <laughs> full of chest mix. <laughs> mouthful of chest Yeah. I'm here to... I'm, I'm, I'm here on business. I mean business, buddy. Oh, boy. Look at that, it's a brand new area. Do you think we should go to it? It's called the Forest yeah. Naval. The Forest Naval. Because it's a big that, belly that, button shaped uh, area. That's my favorite combinations of words. How crazy is that? <laughs> Forest Naval. It, it kind of sounds gross. It's like you're inside a belly button, a big swampy belly button. It's a, it's a, it's a dark, dank yeah. cave. Did you play Ape Escape? I did, but I didn't figure out how to catch any of the apes. I didn't figure out how to use the net. <laughs> Very on brand for me, I know. Yeah, Ape Escape's so good. Ape Escape is. Maybe I could play that one of these days. This is the great thing about streaming is that, you know, I'm playing all these games that are kind of nostalgic for me. But I can experience so many new games and use this as an excuse. I could play Ape Escape. At one point, I want to play Shadow of the Hedgehog. I want to play some Sonic games. Because I never experienced them. And I think it, it, it would be interesting because I know there are some people in the audience here very passionate about Sonic. I have a couple of buddy old pals that are very passionate about Sonic the Hedgehog. Hell yeah. All hail Shadow. Yeah. I mean, I'm more of, I'm more of a Mario guy myself. This is Blue Pikmin. This is my favorite Pikmin because it's blue, and blue is my favorite color. A Pikmin, yet another color. Near the, this one's cheeks is what appears to be a set of gills. Way to you... dox yourself. Yeah, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, oh, they're going to find out so much through my love of the color blue. Uh, is This is what appears to be a set of gills. This trait suggests to me that this blue type of Pikmin can enter the water without any trouble whatsoever. There's only one way to find out. Well, I mean, he's in the middle of the water right now. And not drowning. That's the thing. I don't know if you've seen this, but uh, yeah, all the other Pikmin types, if you put them in water, they drown. It's a horrid sight. This game is scary. See so scary. You see live death all the time. It's like live leak. You know, real like, dead bodies. Real, real live dead, dead bodies. Real live dead bodies. I know we have. I know in this audience we have a lot of fans of Quentin reviews. I know everybody. Everybody loves Quentin reviews nowadays. He's not falling out of favor at all. Remember when he simped for contra points? He met somebody at a, at a fucking cheesecake factory, and he was like, "This is my dark goddess now." Everybody subscribe. I her. don't know anything about any of that. No, you don't. And you'd probably <laughs> like to stay in the dark, wouldn't you? Yeah. You probably would, yeah. He's just a silly man who likes Garfield. I can understand it. 
I found out some worrying information about the guy that made Mario Bros. Z. And when the, when the guy told me about it, I said, you shouldn't be telling me things like this, I'm going to actively ignore it. Of course, that was more worrying. He drew, uh... I forget what it was exactly that he drew, but it wasn't good. I can tell you. Ah, uh, relative, no relative depression goes, what fans? I don't know what that's in reference to. I have many fans. I have a great many fans here. And relative, like it or not, you're one of them. This guy is great. A relative is great. He's Spanish. It's amazing. Oh, yeah. Look at all this water. Hey, cool. Good. How do you feel about water? Yeah. Uh, big, big, uh, big fan. Yeah. Don't look up Mark Heen's views on trans people. I won't. I absolutely will not. I absolutely will not. Mark Haynes. Mark Haynes is the guy, are you aware of the, the great Flash animation experience Mario Bros. Z? No. What the fuck are we, how the fuck are we You friends? said that, and then I... I didn't want to talk about it. No. Because it sounded. I got everything that it was just from the title. Oh, yeah. No, but it's really quality, though, for what it is. It's very good. The story is actually, like, really, really well paced. You might not like it, but I do. Good for you. I'm glad you have things that you like. What's the thing that you like that's old and nostalgic for you on the internet? What's, what's one of those things that you were really little? I... I... Nickelodeon.com? Nickelodeon.com. Now that's a good choice. I remember this horrifying game called Funky Facemaker. And the title screen music is really scary and eerie and ominous, and you make a funky face out of this, this weird monster who doesn't have a face. Do you remember that shit? Do you remember that game? No. It's very... That's the thing, is I, I feel like it might have become lost media, or at least for a little bit it was. It's fucking crazy to think mm. that the things we fucking grew up with are now... Like, some of them are potentially lost media. That's, that's fucking... Do you know what lost me? I should do what? some things be, though? What now? Shouldn't some things be? What, you mean something shouldn't be, uh... I mean, I get where you're coming from, but like... You know, we gotta preserve... Do we really things. need to find Crybaby Lane? Ah, I guess so. I mean... You kind of remind me of, uh... I know, I was talking to... Uh, the, the Black Brains guy, and he was kind of making fun of that, of how some things, like... There's a lot of different types of lost media, but for some reason, people really seem to focus on, like, children's lost media. It's like, man, there, there are songs from, like, famous bands that we don't have. There are, like, betas out there. Meanwhile, you're, you're worried about, like, the, the, the lost episode of the Bubble Guppies. You know, we don't need that. We don't need Bubble Guppies, uh, Lost Media. We need the Beatles, the White Stripes, the Gay Stripes. Rouge the Bat's cool. Yeah, exactly. What are these idiots saying? Saying oh, some, uh... That shows what I know. I thought Depression was a pasta linguine person. Well, yeah. No, I thought he was Italian, too. I thought he was a lot of different things. I, I got, uh... I had many guesses, and they were all wrong. I could be a pasta man if you want to. Why Why did no one tell me about Rouge the Bat? Well, he doesn't know about Rouge the Bat. He doesn't know about the big, big old bat titties. All right, well, let's... I'm you I knew where this was gonna go. Listen here, listen here, buddy old pal. You're in, my, you're in my world. You're in my world now, not your world. And I got friends. On the other side of the screen. And they have my IP uh. address. And they have my search history. And they're coming after me. 
No, that's not. The ghosts? No, no, it's these. What, the ghosts? What ghosts? The ghosts have your search history? Oh, yeah, no, yeah, the little, the little voodoo demons, yeah. Do you even know what you're singing? <laughs> I do know what I'm singing, yeah, it's Dr. Do you, like, go to Doug Day? Dr. Dr. Basilia, yes. I still need to watch Princess of the Frog. But, uh, the, the song is really good. I keep saying I'm gonna watch Princess and the Frog. I keep saying that. I keep saying I'm gonna watch Moana, too, but I never do it. Unfortunately. Oh, man, you're gonna watch it when the sequel comes out? Oh, yeah, Moana, too. Big, fat, stupid Boogaloo. Like your Boogaloo. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I love just putting big, fat, and stupid in front of words. It's so fun. It's not good for my self-esteem. Big, fat, right? stupid Pikmin. No, sometimes I'll do that, like, I'll do that in front of my parents, I'll be like, I'll just take a big, fat, stupid seat right here, and they're like, don't, don't say that about yourself. I'm like, what? It's funny. You think that's fucking funny? I don't see anything wrong with it. <laughs> you should love yourself, you should shut up. No, I love my parents very much. These are the blowhogs. These are fiery blow. You know about these fellas. I think you said they had like grandma rectum, rectum lips. I think that was, that was your view on these. Ah, uh, I might have said something like that. Oh no! Oh no! The Pikmin are dead. Time to take a oh, swing. Oh no! Hey, you pause the game. I should probably pause the game. Yes, but. Um... That would require a little bit of confidence there. Competency that I don't need. I've got another beetle board. You look like you're in like a you're in like a, a monster hunter. Like the the underground monster hunter, you know? It uh, maybe, maybe that's where they got it from. Maybe they, they stole it. Oh man. Man. Huge This huge is my Pikman fans. Monster yeah. I mean, this is my. Oh, it sounds like. Oh, fuck me. Oh, I gotta drink again. How horrible is that? Oh, no. Oh, no, I also have to eat a little. Gushing grandma a little. Lips. Hell yeah. <laughs> Gushing grandma. Gushing granny, yeah. Little, little granny. Oh. Huh. Grandma's ass cheeks. Hell yeah. That's not very nice. Grandma's cookies. Grandma's kisses. <laughs> yeah. Good. The princess and the smoky frog. Oh. If you're a Pikmin fan, you'll understand and appreciate that reference. Of course, none of you guys here. What was the what? What was what was the point of that episode? What episode? The the. Grandma's, grandma's cookies. Well, it was about how SpongeBob wanted to grow up. Oh, SpongeBob was embarrassed by his grandmother kissing him on the cheek, and everybody made fun of him. So he decided to pretend that he was a grown up. You know, act like he was all fancy. I mean, he is a, a grown up technically, but you know the whole thing. He wanted to act more mature, and then he realized that he gave up all of the things that make life worth living. If he, you know, acted so mature all the time. At the time, yeah, then he, sure, he it, turned. It, it, oh yeah. He turned around and he was like, "Hey guys, don't come to the Krusty Krab tomorrow." No, oh, oh, no, he didn't do that. He just became infantilized, like you know, the entirety of uh, our generation. What? Did you, did you know that there, there are adult Happy Meals now? There are adult ass Happy Meals. So if you want to, what does that mean? If it means that they're making fucking Happy Meals for adults, oh fuck me. They're like they're like ten piece chicken McNuggets. There's Big Macs, and then they have a like a designer drug toy. Instead of like a regular toy, it's sort of like an, one of them art house toys. It's great. You never have to grow up. You never have to give literally anything up. You can just stay in your little area and fester. But hey, who's complaining? Well, she's asked for a toy. No, this is a designer toy. It's better. I took your grandma out to Outback Steakhouse and never called her again. 
That's really disgusting of you, Giga Gamer, Giga Gamer. You need to learn some manners. I don't even understand what... What? He took my grandma out to Outback Steakhouse, and then he never called her after that. He took her on a one-time oh. date. He stood her, He stood my grandma up. He ghosted her. Oh. You ever been to the Outback Steakhouse date? Yeah. You've been, yeah. You got a bloomin' on you? Yeah. No, I haven't. Yeah. You haven't gotten a bloomin' on you? It's pretty good. No. I remember I frequent. I, I mean, it's. I frequent a little place called Chili's, a little indie, uh, a little, uh, a little, uh, you know, little-known establishment, and they used to have a thing called an Awesome Blossom, and now they don't have the Awesome Blossom anymore, and, and I'm pretty sure it's because the Outback sued them, because it was just a blue onion. And Goodly got so upset, we had to take him to a little, little restaurant called Charles Entertainment Pete's, yeah. just to yeah, try his tears. Oh, yeah. They shoved me into an animatronic. You ain't seen the FNAF movie yet, have you? Shoved me an animatronic and I had nightmares about my dead brother. Yeah, I did. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you see? Yeah, there you go. You saw it. Nightmares every night. I saw it. I finally saw it. What do you think of it? Kind of, uh... I like it. That was it was fun, yeah. I think it was like a cross between like a Goosebumps movie and a Lifetime uh, original. But it, it did have heart, is the thing. Yeah. I liked the, I think the most, oh Jesus. The thing for me, oh fuck me, fuck me. Ow. Oh. Usually the villains in that, in, in movies are like the most interesting characters. But in that movie, I feel like the more evil the character was, the less interesting they were and the less motivation they had. Whereas the brother and the sister, it was the most realistic thing in the movie. I like it. It was kind of like Lilo and Stitch. It wasn't as good as Lilo and Stitch, but, you know, kind of a, like a nice, realistic dynamic. Yeah. Everything else, I don't know what the fuck they were doing with the idea of the, the evil aunt... That wanted to sabotage the brother. I don't know what they were doing with that shit. Maybe she wanted money. Oh, because that's the thing. I had to be told a lot of shit, too. By people. Like, I didn't understand some of the shit that was going on. Because there was that one part with, uh, what was it? Oh, what the fuck was it? You know the part where, like, uh, uh, like, Freddy comes to kidnap the girl. Or, like, whisk her away. And then they show the aunt behind the chair. Yeah. And she's, he's like, oh, don't worry, she's yeah. just sleeping. And I'm like, no, she's not sleeping, she's dead. So, but the thing is, they, they get back to the house and she's gone. So it's like, what the fuck happened to the aunt? <laughs> like, did the big, bro the big brother got back and saw know. the body and was just like, all right, little Susie, it's time to teach you how to dissolve a body in acid. All right, the cops aren't going to believe any of this, so we need to take the law into our own hands. It's called, it's called, yeah. Uh, yeah. You're no snitch, are you, Susie? Because you know what snitches get. What I've learned from talking to certain people is I think I am addicted to what is called self-snitching. Where I'll snitch on myself and I don't need to. I'll call that honesty, but... Uh, well, you shouldn't do that. Apparently it's not honesty, it's just uh, being a, a, a bit of a, a, a bumble butt. Alright. Oh. Already got fingered for five nights. Yeah, put that in the Criterion Collection. You fucking cowards. Five days since it You're gonna pay. You're gonna pay. You're a, you're a killer. A child killer. Oh, that didn't really work out. That was funny. Five days since impact. Deep in the cave I discovered in the forest. I encountered the Five blue days pickle. since I got my job at Freddy's. Please blue, please blue fellows have something resembling gills on their cheeks, even though they look more like mouths. Nice try, Nintendo. Hmm. And they appear to be amphibious. They ap appear to be am from Amphibia, the show Amphibia, surviving both in water and on land. The wonders of nature never cease to stun me, even in this alien land. 
because they're aliens. Oh, it's like a thing for that that show Surface. Mm. Oh, can I can I get a shout out from anyone who knows the show Surface? Mm. Mushroom just uh, asked. I don't know. Show if you saw lasted this. one season. Mm. No, I don't care. Um, Mushroom says, "Was the awesome blossom awesome sauce or was it a maze balls?" Uh, Mushroom, I'm gonna strangle you to death later. Later on, I'm gonna just I'm gonna start hitting you until I can't hit you anymore. Until I tuck her out. Right. Well, what was it? <laughs> it, it you know, I, I, if I, if I have to, everyone give a sincere, wants to know. <laughs> if I have to give a sincere answer. I'd say it's more awesome sauce than it is amaze balls. You fucking the life is finally comes out. Mushroom, did you come? Did you come out of a, a life is strange game? Did you come out of that world that all those characters live in? Satterall is hitting herself. Well, you know what, Satterall? There's nothing funny about self harm. You need to see somebody, and you need to see, you need to see somebody who cares. All right, save that, saving. Because it's not goodly. It's not me. No, I don't care. But I am not your friend. I'm not your therapist. I am some guy who entertains you. I don't know any of you fucking people personally. I don't like you. As a matter of fact, I resent you, and I resent the individual communities you come from. And I talk shit about you behind your backs. All right, Leon one. 4,000. You went from exploring the dusty, narrow holes of a mansion to exploring the boundless infinity of space. An American hero. That's true. Yeah, I come out of that damn thing like the ghost in the ring. Yeah, you, do. you really do. Mushroom, you really do. Let's, right. let's, let's be fair. We're not exploring the boundless infinity of space. We're kind of just on, you know, a dusty path all of the time. Yeah, we're exploring a, a single planet. grosser. Yeah. I mean, I think the GameCube was really good, though. And even if some of the spaces were a little narrow, uh, they're they're really atmospheric, and they really nail the idea of like you know atmosphere and ambiance. You have to say that, even if it is a little dusty, even if it is a little dank, it's pretty cool. You know, to imagine yourself being in a place like this. Don't you think? Don't you pretty think, cool. Dan? Pretty, pretty, pretty. Oh, yeah. 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 If you're being sarcastic. You don't think I can, I can sense that. Hey, I'm being sincere. You're being sincere? Sometimes I have a hard time yeah. telling. I remember that time we went to the museum Whoa. and we were smiling and laughing the whole time. And for the first 10 minutes, I was like, he's fucking with me. That guy is fucking with me. But it's like, no, you were just having a good time. Yeah. Huh. Like that time I went to the museum, and huh. uh, that guy pretended to be handicapped so we yeah. could sit in the wheelchair. You, yeah, that individual. There was an individual we used to know. <laughs> if, if that individual is in the chat tonight at... You know, out of some uh, co coincidence, I really do miss you. We gotta hang out at some point. <laughs> Dang. I'm never forget. I'm never gonna forget that. Mimi Animations. Hi, I'm new here. Well, hello, Mimi. You really came oh, at welcome. a good time. You came at a good time. I'm three Seagrams in. You know what? I'm gonna take another shot just because I can. I didn't even lose a Pikmin. Should've got I... more liquor chocolate. Yeah. Oh yeah, you know, you're just fucking pulling references at your ass now. You're a you're a reference and fool. Oh yeah. That wasn't real liquor, was it? It was. Oh. Everybody wanted to see what it was like to see a high goodly. Everybody wanted to see a drunk goodly. And now here I am. Oh boy! And then we watched uh, our school confidential. Yeah. Oh, I was so sad. That's the thing, though, because our other roommate, who was like there for three years, was doing like, and and they, I feel like I made it seem more sad than it was, but he was doing stock commentary, and the way he was talking about it was like, oh, they, 
Oh, uh, they don't fucking know. They don't fucking know what they're talking about. But I do. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, he was acting like, oh, uh, they think they know what they're fucking in for, but they're full of shit. <laughs> oh, yeah, everybody everybody got an A, didn't they? Well, that's not how the real fucking world works. And he ate his, he ate his big spaghetti out of a single pot. And his hot dogs <laughs> with bones in them. Motherfucker ate hot dogs. With, but that guy was obsessed with, um, with... I think, like, his first year, he spent all of his money, like, the first semester, and his parents didn't give him any more, because he was, like, obsessed with saving money to the point where he was eating, like, MRI rations. MR Was it MRI or MRE? Like, those fucking military rations? And he, yeah, and he would have hot dogs that had bones in them. He'd spit the bones out and be like, ah, oh, that's fine. They're cheaper that way. Something was wrong with it. Or maybe something was right with him. Maybe he had the right idea. I think I lost all my blue Pikmin yesterday. I got like four blue Pikmin. I gotta get more. Hmm. I love my blue Pikmin. Same. Uh, what's with what's with everyone taking substances tonight? Well, it's a St. Patrick's Day stream. Depression. You should know this is the Drunk Pikmin stream. I've been advertising it as such for the past uh, couple of weeks. You come in here and you're like, oh, what is this, some kind of stream where people uh, alter their their uh, perception? Alter, what do you call it? They're in an altered state. When you take a bunch of drugs, you abuse a bunch of altered drugs. Altered state? Yeah you're, yeah, you're in an altered yeah. state. Yeah, exactly. Welcome to the altered state. you turn into a caveman. Some kind of primordial being. No one even knows that movie. Yeah. I was thinking of the altered state of Drugachusetts. That wonderful Mr. Show parody. Remember that shit? Yeah. We got a I guess order. we could just talk about Mr. Show. Yeah. Yeah. We gotta order a pizza. Just pick up the telephone. <laughs> no, they'll know. What? They'll know we want a pizza. I assume that's what it's like. That's pretty. Oh god, I hope I fuck me. Fuck me. I uh, that's I got I went oh, down man. to get more blue Pikmin and now I have fucking zero. I'm going to strangle somebody to death. Hold on, let me drink. Let me have a drink. We drink to numb the pain. Oh boy. That's being called crossfaded. Being King Cobra JFS, I love I love how you're making references that the chat won't understand, and the chat is making references that you won't understand. It's crazy. I'm like an ambassador. I'm yeah. like a fucking uh, what do you call? It? I'm like a translator for the both of you. Oh boy. Yeah. Why are there only two motherfuck? I lost a lot of these fuckers. Uh, I I think today is a bit of a wash. Oh boy. <laughs> That's not an oh boy, it's an oh no. Actually, no, yeah, that, that could be the other version of oh boy, the bad oh boy. Oh boy. Oh no. That's the snoots. The fire snoots. Did you just say snoot? Did you just use the word snoot in front of me? Yeah. Oh, it's a little snoot. Oh, it's a little snooty. I'm gonna snoot. I'm gonna boop the snoot. Cute words make me wanna fuck. What's wrong with snoot? I don't know, it sounds too cutesy. I don't like it. You can calm down. Don't, stop telling me to calm down. What am I, your little kid? Am I your little child? Ooh, calm down. I'm passionate. Hey, you I, know what? That's a good point. For a yeah. people YouTuber, you kind of suck at it. Yeah, it's true. What? Who said that? Everyone. Was it the swarthy relative depression was always up my ass about something or other? Maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, They don't call you relative, uh, healthy individual, do they? Oh, fuck me! Oh, jeez. There must be vodka oh, in the man. Seniors, cause I'm getting angry, I'm getting ready to fight somebody. Getting sassy. It's like a little... Yeah. But this, today is a fucking wash. Today's a whole wash. Today's coming out in a wash. I feel like I'm all wet behind the ears. You're all washed? 
Yeah, I'm all washed up and nowhere to go. I'm all washed up and nowhere to go. <laughs> Ow, suck my fucking Great. cock. If this motherfucker yeah, you can, you drowns. Can... If this motherfucker drowns. Oh, he didn't drown. Okay, no. My anger was unjustified. And I need to apologize to the audience. Maybe I already talked about this before, but uh, on New Year's, me and some buddies got together for some drinking, and I was trying to play Resident Evil 4, and by that point, I was too drunk and I died to the first enemy. Well, I think I would die to the first enemy uh, stone cold sober, so don't feel too bad. You should feel bad. It's easy. So, oh, you're going to antagonize Resident Evil 4. Well, he was drunk. Yeah. He was intoxicated. Hey, you know, man, that's just life. Excuses, excuses, I guess is what you're going to say. What's your favorite type of Pikmin? Uh, you already asked me that. I'd say the purple Pikmin, because they're very good at what they do. They're all fat and purple. They're fat and purple like me, like my character, my avatar. Did you know... Is that, that purple? We, yeah, it's purple. You know. We would, we would be considered PNG tubers. I hope you know that. I know you're, you're thinking to yourself, what the heck is Goodly talking about? What kind of nonsense is he spouting off? But that's the name for what we are, because we are PNGs that are rotating through different, uh, different emotions uh, with our stills. Look, see, so you just changed to angry. You're angry at me now. Funny how things happen. Yeah, look, now you're confused. Why are you confused? What are you confused about? Oh, this is when do, when, when does the second day when does the second day start, in Pikmin? This is like the this is day six. You silly old cause. This is the same. You've been in the same place. No, I fucking haven't. This is the forest table. You think it's because we're in a cave, Dan? We're in a cave. Look. There wasn't water. The cave with jewels. There's jewels. What are you referencing? Freddy got fingered. The hit famous jewels. movie that's in the Criterion Collection. Did you know that the Freddy got fingered is in the Criterion Collection? I can't believe it. Satterall just called. Yeah, what did you call it before? The, the, <laughs> the, the what did you call it? The, the Salmonella. The Salmonella. Salmonellion. The thing is, when when I was uh, playing, I was playing a, a game with Star and Speculation. I was playing Papa's Pizzeria, and I said, "Oh yeah, uh, that movie Freddy Got Fingered. It's in the uh, it's in the, the <laughs> I forget what it was. I, I forget what I said, but it was the dumbest thing I've ever said. It's like, yeah, it's it's in the, the, the fuck me. Now I can't remember when I want to remember it wrong. I can't get away with it. Oh, me. man. Damn. Man, Leo's life is unfair. Life is unfair, yeah. And you're not the boss of me now. Leon, a 1-4, uh, and then a bunch of zeros said, When's the transition from PNG tuber to VTuber? I don't know, Dan. Would you like to be a wonderful VTuber? I don't know what that is. No, you don't. I'm going to have to explain to you what that is, aren't I? And yeah. you're going to go, I don't care about that, Goodly. As a matter of fact, I can, uh, I... Uh, that's going to be that's gonna make me dumber if you tell me what that is, is what you're going to say. And May God have mercy on your soul. I resent you. I resent you for that. Goodly saying the dumbest things does sound on brand. Well, you know, you got to represent the brand. you gotta, you got to... You gotta make sure that people get what they want. It's funny, see, the what guy do people is, want? The guy is, is named Relative Depression despite the fact that he's very surly. You know, he's got a he's got a smiley face for his profile picture despite the fact that he's very surly and, and mean and makes jokes at other people's expense. It's kinda of funny. It's almost like that comedian character from uh, The Watchmen, you know, with, without all the other bad stuff that he does. <laughs> just like, just like the comedian. Yeah, just like the comedian. Yeah. Whatever happened to the so American what? dream? It came true. Says the comedian. 
true. And then he killed that Taiwanese hooker, or whatever he did. I mean, that was that was a long time before. You could have turned the bullets into vapors. You could have turned them into snowflakes, but you didn't do anything, did you? You really didn't need to kill that that hooker to to make that point. I don't know. I don't she know was gonna going. kill him. Oh. Oh, I guess he's a good guy. Oh, you know what? I, I might be judging him a little bit too harsh. Here. He's a good guy. I don't. <laughs> I think maybe Rorschach okay, was like, well. Yeah. <laughs> People will get mad at you now. They'll be like, I think "You're not." Rorschach was on to something. Only... <laughs> people are mad with people are like, "I can't believe that people relate to Rorschach." Uh, to Rorschach, you're not supposed to like Rorschach. Uh, fucking Alan Moore hates Rorschach. It's like, yeah, well, he accidentally created one of the most morally upright characters in the series. He looked a god in the face and told him, "You're fucking wrong for doing what you're doing." Yeah, people are gonna re people are gonna respect that. Anyway, it's just just fun. It's yeah. fun. I don't know if I don't know if I would prefer to watch it as fun. It's fun. Fun time. I mean, you know, there are a lot of scenes I don't think I would I would call fun, like the scene, uh, you know, like you know, the, cool those toys though. That <laughs> was pretty cool, yeah. I think it was pretty cool when he said, good dogs get... He said, you're not a human, you're a dog, and dogs get put down. It was really fun and cool, the thing that happened uh, before that that catchphrase that he spouted off. Fun time. Remember yeah. the time he, uh, he put on his hat? That was yeah. pretty cool. I remember you kept saying, you kept agreeing with him in the idea of no compromise, and I was getting mad at you and arguing. No, no, sometimes you need to fucking compromise, you asshole. You need to compromise. You need to wait before, the, you, need to, you need to act before people become criminals. <laughs> and you need to invest in, in the fucking institutions. I didn't, you know were... what, I didn't know what the fuck I was arguing about. I was just a little piss and vinegar. You ever, you ever, yeah, I know. Yeah. Did you ever see um, Minority Report? No, I didn't. You should see Minority Report because I think because it's kind of exactly what you're talking about of like their future police. Yeah. Like, they're police that have a way to see the future, so they oh. can. Oh. So you're going to commit a crime before you even think about it. Hmm. Hmm. They come and arrest you for having crimes. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm oh yeah, sure. yeah, yeah. Let me just, let me. Hold on, guys. Well, one second. Let me get back to Pikmin. I gotta wipe my greasy hands because I'm eating my my raw chicken. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm, so good. Oh, oh. No, but um. You know what's funny is I haven't seen Minority Report, but I'm pretty sure there was a Kids Next Door episode that parodied Minority Report, and I didn't even realize it was a parody because they had one episode where there was the kid that could see the future. I think it was it was like a it was like the school had a hall monitor that they like had him tied up they had him like bound in this big fucking like tube and then he drew pictures on crayons and it was like he's gonna he's gonna run in the halls we gotta go arrest him. Kids Next Door was pretty clever sometimes. Yeah, there was a feature on episode too. Really? Yeah. Oh yeah. I think I remember that. I don't know why I sounded so dismissive about the Futurama. I like Futurama. Six days since impact, they have seen that, at times, the leaf atop a Pikmin's head will grow into a bud. And then a flower. Hey, this bud's for you, am I right, bud? It appears that if <laughs> I do not pick the Pikmin sprouts, they gradually bloom over time. Fascinating. This melding of plant and animal traits is surely unique in the natural world. All right. Let's go back to the impact site. I have found the increased swiftness of the flower pickman to be tremendous. Uh, to be a tremendous benefit. Also, my diligence, my diligent observation, has recorded instances in which flower pickmen lost in battle have left seeds behind. This is why, on days after fierce battles, I occasionally find new sprouts growing, and we've seen that. We've seen those little sprouts. We pick them up. They sprouted in the ground. I mean, you've noticed that, right, Dan? Oh yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Giga, Giga Gamer, that is so immoral. Moving all around. The funny thing is, I don't know what he means. I don't, 
I, I think he's referring to the Minority Report. But I think that could just describe all of the, the shit we've been talking about this stream. Yeah, that's really immoral, guys. What the fuck is wrong with you? Uh, anybody have any Pikmin questions? Yeah, yeah, anybody have any Pikmin? It's like we're at the fucking Butterfly Pavilion. Do you have any Butterfly questions for me? Do you have any questions about Pikmin? I'll be right there to answer them. I bet there's a blue Pikmin. Where are they? He swims in water. A panel. Yeah. Please refer to all questions. All Pikmin questions go to Dan. He has to answer all of them. Yeah, I'll, okay. I'll give you. Yeah, I'll give you. An Dan, why do the Pikmin uh, sprout uh, blue? Why do they? Why do the Pikmin uh, sprout buds and then eventually flowers over time? What's up with that? What's the science behind that? You touch yourself. Buddy. That's really funny. Oh, you just, you just, uh, you just stole a joke from Seth MacFarlane. How does that make you feel? <laughs> You're a hack. I mean, it's early, so it's still funny. So it's actually funny. You're flat. You are no talent. You don't know humor. You're no honest. I don't know what this is. Oh, you, you don't remember the Trumpet Guy video? I don't right. know what that is. Alright, well, let's go. You know what? We're not gonna hold on. Let me... I'm gonna show oh, you. Oh, is this it? Is this the, is the ADHD, you. like, just yeah. taken over completely? Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. This is what the people came to see, baby. Baby. Alright. Why do the Pikmin onions fart? Well, because they're onions. Hold on there, you little fucker. That's, me, that's all it is. Window capture, game capture. Where's the window capture here? Blank room soup. I don't want to. I want to show you. Why that. do you have? That was for the fucking. That was for a different stream. Okay, different stream. That has been haunting the background of our friendship. Yeah. For ten years. Yeah, it has. When I keep writing Onion Punch, uh, there's gonna be characters inspired by that later. Just you fucking wait. It is, it is not going away anytime soon. I, I, I have a very hard time letting go. All right. What the fuck am I even doing here? Game capture, window capture. Oh, okay. Why the fuck? <sighs> fuck, let me... Sorry, everybody. I thought I knew what we were doing, too. Yeah. <laughs> the ultimate show... No, that's not it. Window cap... Fuck it. I'm going to add a new panel. I'm going to add a new thing uh fuck me uh, display capture window capture so did you did you win pikmin no i didn't i didn't win anything i'm gonna go on to youtube hold on the thing is you're gonna see There's this recruiting class you're gonna see this and you're gonna remember it what the fuck is it called? Uh, Trumpet Guy. I don't know what you're even talking about. I'm just saying I referenced something and you didn't understand it, so we're going to watch the video of it. Hold on. This is an, this is an old uh, guy from New York who's mad there's a, there's a guy playing a trumpet. So hold on. Fuck. Where's the windows? Maybe I should hit display. Maybe it's display... Capture stores. Play this is this this is. Just call, hold your horses. Jesus Christ, have some fucking faith, okay, buddy? Have some faith. Hey, maybe uh, maybe you have another drink. Yeah, why don't you have another drink? Okay, can you see it? Can you see the little martini call? <laughs> yeah. Oh. Okay, here we go. Here we go. This is the trumpet fight. This is a little fellow from New York. And he got a little fucking antsy because he heard a guy playing a trumpet bad. And apparently he's the authority on people playing fucking trumpets in the middle of the fucking street. In New York. In fucking New York. Okay. Okay.
I I don't I don't know this. You don't know this? No, I this don't is know just, this. This is just an angry dude that's mad at a trumpet guy and he's yelling at him and it's kind of funny because like look at how fucking mad he is. Yeah, it's just it's just a crazy person on the street. Yeah. Yeah, but that's kind of fun, isn't it? I don't know. You're not as big. No, as... it's just... Oh man, you don't you don't you don't appreciate a good freak show. You don't appreciate a good a good people watching experience. Probably because you're more well adjusted. But nonetheless, we must push onward. Push ever onward. Is this what you do? You just you just watch mentally unstable people just have mental breakdowns, so you just flap your feet and <laughs> eat peanut butter? I don't know. I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, chat, I think he got us. I think he fucking got us. All right. Well, you know what they say. You know what they fucking say. What? You know. What do they? What do, What do they say? I don't know. They certainly say it. We're all waiting. Don't fucking put that kind of pressure on me, dude. Don't put that kind of fucking pressure you on me. You said it. Boy, did I, brother. Boy, oh, did I say why don't, it. Why don't you just... You don't come... You don't, How about you just don't start swinging when I ask you a question you already said? No, I'm gonna do good. Joey has rightly pointed out I put the tab over the layout. It's probably not good. You guys all saw pro probably a bunch of stuff you weren't supposed to see. Uh oh, whoopsie. Oh, now all your bookmarks? All my bookmarks, yeah. All my foot porn. All my carrot videos. Sick. Carrot videos? Yeah, my carrot videos. What kind of carrots? carrots? You don't want to know, buddy. Let me just, let's just say, you don't want, if you didn't want to know about the trumpet guy, you don't want to know about the carrot stuff. Because that stuff is really sick. Okay, then. Man, this is kind of a. I thought this was going to be a funny bit, but this seems kind of like a does the narwhal bacon at midnight kind of comedy that's... Has you're getting since. a little dark. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. I'm getting a little... I thought I was getting a little too silly and random. Let's get a little bit more lighthearted in here. Oh, what the fuck? What is this? Oh, I'm, I turned this all the way down. What the, no. what the damn? What, what the shit? Where's that damn fourth chaos emerald? <laughs> Where's damn. That? Yeah. He really emphasizes, he's like, damn! Where's that damn for the chaos ever? He's like an angry dad. Yeah. You know? Oh man, are you excited for three? Um, I haven't seen one or two yet, so I am incapable of being Dude, excited. I'm so great. I'd have to see all two of them. Do you want to, do you want to have a Sonic the Hedgehog marathon where you show me one and two? Yeah, man. That sounds like kind of fun. We'll get a pizza, yeah. we'll order a pizza, we'll eat a chicken and pizza. Have some beer, have some barbecue. Get some ribs. Yeah. Order some Chinese food. Yeah. Yeah, Can sounds... anybody find me info on who's going to voice Shadow Sonic 3? I think, uh, who's the guy that voiced the Anakin Skywalker? Hayden Christensen? Ian Hayden Christensen or whatever he, his name was? He, he played him. He played him. He played, yeah, he voiced Anakin Skywalker in the movie, yeah. Oh, I, that's I right, guess he was alive. so. He was alive. Oh, yeah, I forgot. It wasn't like James Earl Jones, where he just did the voice. He was also on screen. I saw a very funny parody where oh, it was uh, Darth Vader talking to the Emperor and being like, why did you give me a black man's voice? Is this even allowed? Are you even allowed to do this anymore? And that was the whole crux of the bit. It's kind of fun. Funny. Oh, it's kind of like, it's kind of like when we watched uh, Chip and Dale, and it's uh, funny because the tiny little uh, fly has a black voice. I think that's, that's the, funny. That's... that's... I don't know. That's the joke. I remember getting mad at you because I'm like, what? We're not allowed to do that? We're supposed to be upset by that? We can't have the we can't have a guy 
have a different sounding voice and I was like mad at you. I was like I was strong arming you. I was saying don't point You're mad at me about the ship and fail rescue oh, and live action movie. The thing is I heard so many bad things about that movie, but I wanted to see it through fresh eyes and I was not disappointed by how much you really didn't like that movie. I didn't even think you hated it, you were just like, yeah, yeah, this is kind of, this is kind of shit. No, yeah, I didn't like it. I there think were, you hated it more than me. There were, like, some clever, I, the thing is, like, I love the multimedia idea, like, a world of, of different, you know, because Roger Rabbit was great, but it was just one kind of cartoon, the idea that they put, like, you know, there's 80s cartoons, there's 90s cartoons, there's different animation styles, there's mixed media, I love that shit, the kind of gumball shit. But, like, they cut so many fucking corners, it just all looks cheap. It's... And then they just have that guy. Who's that me. guy? Who was the dude that voiced, like, sh I forget which one was Ship and which one was Dale. But one of them was a fucking comedian, that, and the comedian is usually very funny. Who was that dude? They're, they're both comedians. Yeah, but the one that I'm thinking of, though. I don't he sounds know. like he kind of sounds like this all the time. I'm I'm a little boy. That that guy. That dude. John Mulaney. John Mulaney. John Mulaney. And he just sounded. The thing is, he wasn't voice acting though. He was just. He just sounded like John Mulaney the whole video, the whole movie. Yeah. And that pissed me the fuck off. Are you? Yeah. The Peter Pan thing was really bad. That was fucked up because yeah, that was based on an actual actor. That they fought, that the corporation fucked over. They're like, yeah, what if he was a villain? Oh, well, what if you apologized for ruining a person's life, uh, Disney Corporation? What if you did that? It was gonna be Pluto, is the thing. I think the villain in the original script was gonna be like Pluto, and that was gonna be the whole fucking joke of like, he's like, well, Goofy gets to walk around and wear pants, but I, I'm subjugated. I think it was the thing. The funny thing is, I think... Because uh, Goofy's a goof. He's not a dog. Yeah, even though he... Well... I get, yeah, that's, that's the internal thing in Disney. That's their... Their way of explaining it, right? Is he's a, he's a goof. And the go a goof he's is a like... Goof. A, a goof is like a species. Which is so strange. What's yeah. the taxonomy of a goof? What's, what's the etymology of it? Is etymology the right word? It's a goof. I don't know. I don't know either. So is P a cat or is P the goof? Well, do they have different species? Of, do they have like different animal goofs? Is Mickey Mouse a goof? Is he not a mouse? This is no, this he's is, a mouse. This is raising a lot of questions about that universe. A goof is a species onto itself. Okay. This is some game theory shit. Welcome to game. But I'm theory. saying. Did you know that Goofy is actually a different species? Oh, what, are, what are people saying in the chat? What are these awful people saying? Chat. G Giga Gamer just says, Man, enough, please. Sad emoji. Yeah. Me too, buddy. Um, I'm Joey. I'm voicing Shadow. What is it? Darkly Draws. <laughs> Who the fuck put... That's not, that's not my name. I'm not Darkly Draws. Did you watch the final know, Game Theory? No, I didn't, Leon. I, I kind of got, got off Game Theory for a little bit. Dan, how do you feel about the, the legendary Game Theorist? I, I have no opinion. I've never watched... I've never watched a Matt Pat. You did because you were in the room while we were watching Matt Pat. Did I? Was I? I, I have no recollection. Oh, you have no recollection. I bet you do. I remember I got drunk one night and like I was going to bed with my laptop on and I woke up at like two in the morning yeah. and like Matt Matt's like video about him crying about his friend committing uh, suicide just was on and I was oh, that's crazy. That's not very. Yeah. Went back to bed. You were like that doesn't affect. Yeah. Funny. I... You back then were probably like Wh whatever that doesn't affect. Me. You tried to be uh, a little bit. Oh, I was <laughs> Yeah, you were 20, you were like, that doesn't fucking affect me, man. Get over it. 
That doesn't impress me much. That doesn't impress me much, yeah. That don't keep me warm in the middle of the night. You being upset that your buddy is dead. Hilarious. If this may, if his name is Goofy, that's like naming a human humany, says Joey T. Right? It's I think true. He's got, he's got a good point. It is true. It's like it how true. it's like Jake the dog and Finn the human. You know, at first you thought. I mean, oh, his name is. His name is what? His name. His name is Goofy Goof. Goofy Goof. Because Matt, because whatever they call Max by his full name, they call him oh. Max Goof. That is funny though that they that you never really. That means hear... his name is Goofy Goof. Because you never really hear them refer to Goofy by the way. It's like the bullshit with the Mario movie, right? And I like the 80s Mario movie, but the, the shit where he's like, What's your name? Mario. What's your last name? Mario Mario. I'm Mario Mario, and this is Luigi Mario. It's like, what the fuck? Did you but even... that's canon. Is that really canon, though? Is that because that was in that movie? I don't canon. think any... Nothing in that movie is fucking canon. Nothing. It's canon. It's Nothing. canon. Their name is Mario Mario, Luigi Mario. It's canon. Okay. So their last... I mean, I, I feel... It's a very dumb... They're the thing. Super Mario Brothers. That was a funny scene, but that's a really dumb thing. Oh, no, that's exactly what would happen. It's like the fucking... Again, I really like the movie. I think it's very creative, but you could tell it was made by executives who fucking hated... The idea that they were adapting the stupid kids game and were like, Oh yeah, they're like the Mario Brothers, because their their name is the Mario Brothers, so their last name has to be Mario. And it's like... Yeah, no, no, we're the Mario Brothers. No, because Mario is the more popular fucking brother, so he get, he's in more games. No, then, so he, then what? Then why isn't it called Mario and his brother? Mario and his brother, because there's that's a not Mario a good thing. Brother. That's not a good marketing fucking... No, there's that's, a Mar that is there's not a catchy Mario at all. Brother. They're the Mario no, and his brother. No, what the game is called with the Mario Brothers, because their names are Mario. I don't know. I, I think we came to different conclusions when we were kids. Oh, you're wrong. I'm you're not, just wrong. I'm not wrong. I don't think I'm wrong. I think I'm right. Oh, fuck you. Uncle Dane, the TF2 YouTuber, played Ash in Stupid Mario Brothers. What the fuck does that have to do with anything, Joey? You crazy, you fucking... You gabagush. Shut up. They're the Mario Brothers. And plumbing's their game. They ain't like the others that get all the fame. When you are in trouble, you can call them on the double. Something, something, something. They'll be hooked on the brothers. To the bridge. Oh, yes. And remember. You go to hell. If you do drugs, you go to hell before you die. Yeah. How the hell do you go to hell before you die? How do you wake up there? <laughs> you can't wake up dead unless you're a zombie. <laughs> yeah. Good stuff. Man, the, the 2000s really had a lot of things going for me. Oh, yeah. It should be called Mario and his brother. Oh, I think that's just what they just... <laughs> that just sounds so stupid! It sounds even dumber than, like, Mario Mario. It's like, it's the Mario and his brother's super show. It's his... Mario and his brother. Yeah. Hey, I'm Josh, in you want to come over to my house and play Mario and his brother? Yeah. No, I don't. That sounds... That sounds really creepy. It sounds like they'd be they'd have, like, weird twin speak. And would not be able <laughs> to play video games that you play. It's like, they're not allowed to play Grand Theft Auto. They play, um, they play Wii Sports. Actually, no. That's Mario and his brother is just that, uh, Hot Diggy Demon cartoon. Oh, yeah. Hot Diggity Demon sure knows how to make mean characters be realistic, but also relatable. It's a good talent to visit. Does Luigi of... just not even deserve any? No. Dude, fuck Luigi. Luigi? No, don't fuck it. What the fuck is it with this Luigi slander on this channel? First it was relative depression, and now it's you. You don't like Luigi? Do you know what the funniest thing is? The year of Luigi? Yeah. Worst year of all of Nintendo. He's an... Uh, look. Back in the early 2000s, people were like, Oh, we hate Luigi. He's an underdog. He sucks. But now, everybody is like... 
into the idea of having low self-esteem because everybody does due to social media. So they're like, yeah, we love Luigi. He has anxiety and he hates himself, just like us. So Luigi's cool now, just like Waluigi's cool now. The idea you just create an entire video game about a man peeing his pants in a mansion is, is baffling. What are you doing? They made an entire fucking ride about that. I don't know if you've heard of it, Dan, but it's called The Haunted Mansion. And Eddie Murphy was in it? Well, he wasn't in the ride, but he was in the movie. He was in the ride. He was I don't know if I told you I, this was a while ago. Me and Dan, we watched the Eddie Murphy Haunted Mansion movie. And I will say, I used to think that, that I was an idiot as a kid for liking it. Solid fucking movie after seeing it again. I really do enjoy it. It's a very... It is. It's got payoff. It's got heart. It's got really intense scenes, like especially compared to the fucking ride. Um, fuck, I forgot what I was going to say. Oh, yeah, yeah. The funny thing is, I remember, like... I only went to uh, Disneyland once in my life. I didn't go to Disneyland. I went to Disney World in Florida, and it was a big deal. We went to Florida. We, we went to all the, the theme parks in one go, and um, I remember, like, I saw the movie before the ride, so when I went on the ride, I was like, where the fuck is, where's Eddie Murphy? And I also, it, it was a very stressful ride because I thought the Haunted Mansion was going to have people popping out at you like regular haunted houses and I'd never gone to a haunted house for that reason I was like no that's too that's too much stress for me so the whole time I was on the ride I was like like a fucking hawk just looking all around the fucking like <laughs> there's a guy gonna pop out of that ceiling there's a guy gonna pop out of that fucking window there's a guy gonna nothing popped out at me the whole ride I made it but I made it ten times more anxiety inducing because I was waiting for a fear that never came you know Story of my life. Hmm. Seven days since impact, the Pikmin always carry their prey back to the onions. Close observation indicates that taking food pellets to onions of the same color results in the release of larger numbers of Pikmin seeds. It's also found... I've also found ways to group Pikmin by color. I can hold A to grab one for a moment, or I can press X to dismiss them all. I always pick Luigi or Waluigi if they were available. If you mean... If you mean they the boys, what the fuck is it? The fuck you mean they the boys? I don't fucking know what you're talking about. We need to go back to hating Luigi. Are you Luigi. trying to breathe through your snacks? No. I'm trying to eat through my snacks. I feel like you're trying to breathe through your snacks here. No, no, no. Listen. Relative oh, depression... Look. In the, in the signature of relative depression uh, demeanor, we need to go back to hating Luigi. Those were the best economic years we ever had. Well, I mean, I guess considering what Dan just said about the year of Luigi. Yeah, you're right. Hmm. It was crazy. Well, crazy, crazy, crazy. Love crazy. Waluigi. Love Waluigi and Wario. Great tag team. Yeah. I, I don't know if I told you this, Dan, but I always have a, I have a headcanon for Waluigi, right? If, if, I, if I ever what? wrote a Mario movie, if I ever wrote the sequel to the Mario movie, Wario, Wario would be made by Kamek from, like, Mario's DNA would be a, a wacky clone. And at one point in the movie, he sees that Mario has Luigi with him, and he's like, I can have a brother, too. So he just goes back up the pipe that they went from New York, and he finds, like, a homeless guy and bribes him with money. He's like, you want to be my brother? And then he brings him back to the, the magic mushroom world. But it's just this, like, this fucking, like, heroin addict homeless dude. This, like, actually very realistically skeevy guy. I'd also like to think <laughs> that, that Wario, you know, because Wario, he keeps getting invited to those parties. He gets invited to those racing games. But, like, he never brings, like, in WarioWare, he's got his own group of friends. He's got the, like, the disco-looking dude, the, the white dude with the afro. He's got the cat and the dog and the, the little girl that everybody's creepy about, Ashley. Right? He would never be caught dead letting his friends see him around the Mario bunch because he thinks they're fucking lame and fucking stupid. That's why he keeps inviting Waluigi 
as as like as like a passive aggressive fuck you to all the rest of the Mario squad. Like, oh, you want to invite me? Well, you got to deal with Waluigi too. He hasn't bathed in six weeks. Enjoy that shit. That's how oh, I. Yeah, it's so the thing of like a champion that lost to a bunch of losers. Yeah, exactly. Literally, me and you are like Mario and Luigi, but incestual. I don't think so, buddy. I don't think so, Phil. I don't think so, Buster Brown. No. I don't fucking think so. Literally died eight years ago. He came back this morning. Goodly needs to stop shaving his mic up his ass. <laughs> Makes the sound more muffled. He's passing shit. You but really should stop shaving your mic up your ass. Shaving. Well, it it was spelled S H B I N G. Spelled correctly, Rowan. Well, there goes the rest of the Seagrams. Mm. I don't even feel like I'm. You know, honestly, I could be drunker. Kind of disappointed in myself. It was three Seagrams and a and a Mike's harder. <laughs> so good and tasty. Mm, yeah, oh. Dan, I got a serious question for you. What? How do you feel about gay marriage? The Institute. I think it's... I think it's fine. Alright. Why? What about you? Oh, well, that's what you that's you feel. Hmm. What did you ask wow. me how I feel about it? Yeah. What's that? Yeah, well, I I am not allowed. I I am not allowed to divulge how I feel about gay marriage because people would get mad at me. You're not allowed to be married. I'm not allowed to be married. No. If I was married, I would be like one of those old cringy boomers that keeps making take my wife, please take my wife jokes. It'd be great. I think it would be great. But the state and the system doesn't want me to be involved in that world. The system. The system. Shut the fuck up. Look, it's hard, okay? Being live, doing this stream for as long as I do it, it's hard. Yeah, man, it's, it's cold out there for a pimp. It's cold out there for a what? A pimp? A what? A pimp, you said? Do you support human trafficking? Do you support Andrew Tate? <laughs> Do you support Andrew Tate? I don't Tate? even have a Bugatti. Yeah. No, it's not a Bugatti, it's a Bugatti. He has such a very straight... I like how the first time we ever watched a video, we slowly realized he was British because he was trying so hard to have an American accent. But it, it was the bottled water video, so the moment he said water, bottled water, we were like, oh no, this is like, this is like in shape asshole Carl Pilkington. He got, he got too ripped, he got too swole, now nobody can question him. And then he started trafficking women in fucking Bulgaria or wherever he lives. Bulgaria. Bulgaria, wherever the fuck, whatever. It's some European country where they don't think, you know, they don't have consent laws. You know, it was a bad place where, you know, Poland, Germany. Yeah. Yeah. Do you support the institution of slavery? I don't think I do. What about you, uh, what about you, Dan? Do you have a different opinion about that? No. I know you might. I know you. <laughs> I know you feel differently about that. No. Oh, no, you don't. Okay. Huh? Would have thought somebody like you would have thought. Oh, well, let's not get into that. Well, that's a lot of overcompensation you had there. Yeah. Maybe he's overcompensating for something. Like what? Never. Mind. I don't know why that reminded me of that Shrek joke. Remember that shit? I do. That uh, was a, a good-ass movie. I was. 
in 2001. It was before the Twin Towers hit. Yeah. Was it? Was it before? Oh, was it before or was it after? I, you know what? I think it was right after. I think, was uh, it? But the Twin Towers hit, and then uh, Katzenberg was like, we need to cheer the nation out of it. With a, with a jolly ogre that, that farts and burps and, and wisecracks. And is angry, is constantly angry at his donkey companion. And his black-coated donkey sidekick companion. That's a new word that I'm at odds with. The, the black-coated... I can't unsee it, but I also don't want to care about that. Either you have a horror movie that's really uh, got under you. Oh, any either of you have a horror movie that really got under your skin? For me, it's Savage Land. Maybe it's because I'm a little bitch, but that one was genu genuinely really f fucking scary to me. I mean, you're more of a horror movie guy. I'm a bitch. I I, I got uh, fucking Predator too got under my skin. That's how big of a bitch I am. That's not even a horror movie. It's like an action movie. It's good. I mean, it's, I mean, it's definitely, it's incredibly well made, yeah. Yeah, it's that means good. it wasn't good, then it scares you. Yeah. What? His, uh, his, his thing or, or my thing? No, I had it here too. That's pretty good. It had like a fun... Savage, Savage Land, is that? Have you ever heard of that? I feel like you'd be the guy to know that. I feel like I know Savage Land. Yeah. Oh boy. Oh. I don't think I've seen it. Oh. Well, shame on you. I'm thinking of Strange Land. Yeah. yeah. Remember, uh, remember yeah. the Goosebumps Horror Land? That was pretty scary. Yeah. They got I sent got, I was pretty freaked out by... Um... By, um... Green room. Green room's really unsettling to me. What's, what's green room about? Uh, it's just like bands. It's this like indie punk band, and they they're on the the road. They're like touring, and they get a uh, a gig. Uh, it's like out in the middle of the woods, and it turns out it's like a. Um, uh, so it's like a, a white supremacist, like, club out in the woods. Oh, no. Uh, yeah, and um, the band accidentally, like, witnesses someone getting murdered. Oh, so, like, no. like, hide in the green room, and, like, it's, it's like the, you know, skinheads trying to get into the room. And oh, no. A lot of fucked up stuff. That's really fucked, yeah. Uh, uh, Joey goes, for me, it's either Martyrs or the house that Jack built. That's that house where it's that psychopath that, like, uh, dresses up a, a little kid as a deer and then shoots him or something? I've heard of that. I'm... Yeah, he, like, taxidermies yeah. a child, yeah. It's not really great. I, I haven't I haven't seen that. I've seen the, uh... I don't know if you watch the YouTube channel, uh, Analyzing Evil. I've spoiled, I spoiled no. myself. Oh, it's a very good, uh, it's a good channel. It's, it's, oh, they talk about fucking, they talk about the, the fucking analyzing evil. They an analyze evil characters. There's one on Darth Vader. There's one on Kefka. Huh. From Final Fantasy. There's one on American oh, Psycho. Oh, you know really, you know what? You know what? You know what movie really, uh... What was really effective on me was uh, called Ghost Watch. It's, it's from the 90s, uh, and it, it aired in the BBC um, as like a news special on Halloween. So it's like a found footage kind of thing yeah. about uh, these people or this woman doing like a, a story uh on this like little family that says they're being haunted by a ghost. And it's really I, I feel like it's really effective. Huh. 
It really freaks me out. Huh. Is it about like a famous haunting, or did they just make up the haunting? Uh, it's it's partially inspired by the Anfield Poltergeist, but oh, it's yeah. it's mostly an original story. Oh fuck me. Oh, see, I was instinctually gonna drink, but I don't have anything left to drink. Oh. I'm free. Damn. I'm fucking free from my curse. Well, you got your pee, I guess. It's sterile. Mm. No, I flushed it down the fucking way. I got water. I got two big things of water, so I don't have a hangover tomorrow. Oh. Just gotta get up Oh, it's a... helping me get hurt. Yeah. I had a big thing. Can I get up for a what? I got a big thing at DoorDash. You know, that was that was kind of cool. You know, have a little bit of uh, stuff to line the stomach. Uh huh. Yeah. Potato yeah, yeah, skins. Yeah, yeah. Potato skins are really good. I like potato skins. Loaded potato skins. Is this what we're doing now, or just talk about? I like food. Yeah, you know this food is really cool. <laughs> I'm sorry I interrupted your talk about horror movies. What about you? What's what? Any anything unsettle you? Predator two. Um, I watched a little bit of that. What is it? Oh, that yeah, that right. David movie, uh, that David Lynch movie. I haven't finished it. But the one where it's just like a single room and they're all in rabbit masks. That was pretty scary. I didn't get through a lot. Oh of yeah. Stuff. That was a that was a short film. Yeah. Yeah. Like his like college work. Yeah. I don't know. Uh. Anybody else want to talk about horror movies? I, yeah. You like I'm horror movies. For that. I wish film... There's this guy in our community. His name is Film Nerd. And his whole thing is he's a nerd for films. We all... Uh, oh, man. Film Brain? No, 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 no. He would be very angry at you for saying that. But we would all make fun Dude, of Dude, when is he going to bring... When is he going to bring back the bad movie beatdown? Uh, I don't know. Uh, he ate somebody's penis and then got food poisoning and died. Mimi Animations, I'm back. Sorry I'm late. Don't worry, Mimi. You're not late for anything. We're just we're just a bunch of rambling, gambling fools running around talking nonsense. Mimi, what's your favorite scary movie? Yeah. What's what's an action? What's a movie that really gives you the the, the spoofs? What's a movie that really grinds your gears? So scared. <laughs> oh, you know what movie really fucked me up as a kid? Was that Goosebumps, uh, mm. the Goosebumps movie about the mask? I don't know whether it was the mask. The haunted was, mask? I don't know whether it was the haunted mask or the sequel. I just remember there was a part at the end where a bunch of the masks come to life and they start chasing her. Yeah, I had nightmares. Yeah, that. yeah, that was the. I think that was the first one. It was scary. I didn't like it. I know the, I know the second one wasn't that. Great of a premise, because he just turns into like an old man. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, you know, the idea of aging—that's that's something that scares me very much. As a as a you know middling middling adult. Hmm. Well. Yeah. I guess that's the true fear. Yeah. The fear that you will one day die, that you will not live forever, that you do not get to drink from the fountain of life for the rest of your existence, that you will fade like everything else. It's a selfish fear. Who is that help? Who's what? <laughs> Who is that helping? Who's what helping? You, you going on this long diatribe. Yeah, no, it's not helping. It's poetry. You know what? It doesn't help anybody. But you know what other thing doesn't help anybody? Poetry. Uh, literature. And all of those things deal with those kinds of feelings that I'm feeling. And that's how you, that's how you deal with them, is you put your pain onto the canvas. You know, you do, you, you, I mean, you write slam poetry. In the middle of your Pikmin street. Where you drank too much and are making people huh. uncomfortable. It's good stuff. It's good stuff. The Goosebumps episode with the mud people. Is that just called the Muck Men? Hmm. That sounds vaguely racist. Was is that? Is that you? You can't scare me. Is that what that is? Yeah. 
remember Are You Afraid of the Dark? I never really saw a lot of that. But the idea of a group of kids in front of a campfire in the middle of the night, that's kind of a scary thought. Are You Are you Afraid of the Dark is still... That's just a good guy. They had a... They had a um, man. I remember there was this one Goosebumps book where it was about, like, an alien egg... And the fucking thing is, the, the alien egg wasn't even, like, a bad character. It was, like, a nice, friendly character. But this dude got kidnapped by a scientist, and he was forced to eat macaroni and cheese. And the kid didn't even like macaroni. I know that was a big part of it. I don't know why that sticks out in my head. He didn't like macaroni and cheese, but he had to eat it because it was the only thing. And he was like, man, I fucking hate this shit. Right. I forget how he, get, he escapes. Either it was a dream or something. But the thing ends, because, like, every Goosebumps book has to have a twist. Whether it's actually scary or not. And this twist ended with, with this kid laying a giant egg. And I remember thinking to myself, how the fuck? This is supposed to be a scary book with, with scary things in it. What the fuck is that? I don't know if you ever read that book. Don't That's the scariest it. thing of all. Disappointment. Disappointment. <laughs> remember... Disappointment is a present, too. Oh. That was a line, that was a, a Billy and Mandy Christmas special line. Anyway. Yeah. Oh boy, the stream's slowing down. You remember the haunting hour. Next, the haunting hour. That was that, uh, that was that movie with, um, Hannah Montana's friend. Was it right? the, uh, was it the, the show where it was, like, the three ghosts? That, that, that they were, like, the screen team? That's the Soul Patrol. Oh, the Soul Patrol. I kept thinking it was the screen team. Wait, was it Soul Patrol or is... No, it was the screen team. And that was the, that was the thing that established, like, in that universe... Ghosts couldn't go through glass, so they kept getting caught in jars. And the evil ghost was like a, a fucking, uh, like a pyromaniac who just set the house on fire. I don't know why I remember that Something so like vividly. That. I think the villain really was creepy, because that's how he died. He just set the fucking house on fire. And everybody in it. <laughs> that's something that would actually happen. OMG help, goodly draw, someone bullied me. Who did that? Who did that? Who bullied you? I'm going to encourage it even more. Oh, boy. <sighs> I remember being a fat, stupid baby and getting the shit scared out of me by the Hey Arnold episode about the ghost bride. No, that was terrifying as a kid. You know what was fucking metal in Hey Arnold was that Ghost Train episode. Yeah. The conductor yeah. went to hell. Yeah. Did that have the bride in it? Was yeah. that the, is that the same one? Was that a different no, it's a different episode. Yeah. yeah. Remember when his grandpa fought Hitler? That was pretty funny. Yeah. All Pikmin might be a female is in a good way. No, I don't know about that. Let's not get too crazy. Man, this is a great game. I don't know about you, Dan, but I'm filled with a, a, a sweet on wa, a sweet on we, right now. I don't know how to say that word. What, what do you mean? A sweet on way. Yeah, you know. Kind of like uh, you don't, you didn't get what you wanted, but you're contented to just kind of sit there like that. Yeah. Yeah. It's bitter, but it's like a comforting yeah. kind of bitter. Yeah. Like, yeah, I could get used to this. This is kind of like what happiness is, if you just forget. Anyway. 
Pikmin is such a fun game. It's such a fun game, everybody. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Oh, fuck me! Oh, we're all gonna die. We're all gonna fucking die. Help. Help. Oh, God. Oh, no. Fuck me. Oh. Well, Dan, if you, uh... If you open your textbook, you'll see the, uh, the diagram of the human cell, the human protozoa. Which, which organ is the powerhouse of the cell again? What, 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 uh, what part of the molecule? I don't know. I don't know uh, what the fuck it's saying. The, uh... The amygdala. Um... I forgot. Yeah. Oh, no matter. We'll kill this guy. We'll fucking kill this guy in no time. What is this, Osmosis Jones? What is this, the, the Osmosis Jones show? Remember that show? That was a good show. Ozzy and Rex, yeah. Ozzy and Rex, I don't give a shit what anybody said. That show was good. I was kind of sad, though, because, like, in the movie... Like, they were inside Bill Murray, and Bill Murray was such a fat, unhealthy fuck. The show starts with them, like, just giving up on him. He's eating, I remember, I don't know why, he's, yeah. he's like, in a, in a chair, he's, like, in a, in a fucking, uh, what do you call it, like, a lazy boy chair, and he's just got, like, nachos piled on top of chicken wings. He has, like, a fucking heart attack. Yeah. That was me a few hours earlier when I was eating by 99 restaurant food. You ever been to the 99, Dan? You've been yeah. to the 99. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's nice they give you popcorn as an appetizer. It's a free appy. Yeah, you know, 99 reasons you always come back. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's right. That's right. That's how you can tell he's a Massachusetts guy. He's a Massachusetts boy. He's a Boston bum fucker, as I like to call him. The Gooba Chuck. If you're a, a Boston bum fuck, put a little shamrock in the chat. Oh, well, gotta drink some water now. See, this is gonna be unfun because now the challenge is just me drinking water. So that I don't get a hangover. Boy. Oh, fuck me. I hate these little pearly clam clamps. I thought Goodly was about starts. <laughs> I thought Goodly was about to start singing the Lizard Squad rap. No, I would never sing the Lizard Squad rap. Dan's just sitting there. Sitting I don't know there. what that is. Yeah, you're just sitting there dumbfounded, like, what the fuck is the Lizard Squad rap? <laughs> I don't really know what to tell you. I, I don't know. It's a, it's a video that's. You see it, and you go, ooh, that makes me kind of feel secondhand embarrassment for the guy that made it. That kind of thing. I know you don't deal in feelings like that anymore. Or you never did. Oh, Joey T. Raccoon bullied you, uh, Mimi Animations? Well, don't worry. Joey T. Raccoon, he lives a miserable... I know him. I spend a lot of time with him. He lives a miserable life. So don't feel bad when he makes fun of you. Go. I'm just spending the last couple of days, the last couple of days, uh, you know, building up my squad because I, I killed a lot of men. I killed a lot of troops in my downtime. This is why Goodly draws, he called me a bitch. It was Joey. This is why disrespect wasn't as bad. All right. Okay. Dan, how do you feel about disrespecting women? Do you find that funny or do you find that hilarious I, I, to do? Good no, practice. I good don't practice. Approve. Good practice or best practice. You don't approve. Dan doesn't approve. Dan is a is a chivalrous man. He's a knight in shining uh, armor. A knight in shining gay armor. Right. 
You have an issue with the, my assessment of your uh, character there? No, no, no. no. I, I... Very interesting of, of what you think. Yeah. Joey ran me over with his car. Starts kicking six holes in the drywall of my motel room. I don't know, is that supposed to be like a reference to something? Mushroom? What, you think you're funny, Mushroom? You think you, you think you can just drop references to things I don't know about? Not in this chat. Not in this fucking chat. Joey T. Raccoon, I condone disrespect you a little. I condone this dick in your mouth. How about that? Oh, jeez. God has punished me for my hubris by killing all those pigmen after I said that horrible thing. Time to drink water. Oh. Fuck me. Am I right? Anyway. So what's, what's, what's left to do? Oh, there's so much left to do, buddy. We have, like, a, three different worlds left to go to. Oh, jeez. I kind of thought I would... I keep thinking I'm going to finish... Because these are so, like, short games, relatively, especially after you've played them. But I, I overestimate my competency, my abilities, especially to play while I'm trying to interact with the chat and, you know, try and be entertaining. Come, on, come up with all these fucking hilarious jokes, these home runs. Keep the crowd all these great pop culture references. Yeah, it's so good. It's so great. Mm -mm, it's so good. I keep killing my Pikmin and having to make more. Such is the cycle of life. You get lost in the sauce. Ding dong, ding dong, ding ding ding. Now I'm singing. Now I'm singing the theme song. No, nobody wants to hear that. I'm a failure. I'm a failure. I'm a failure. Failure. It's in reference to Daniel lost Larson. Oh, yeah. Once again. Yeah, Lost in the Sauce. Lost in the Sauce once again. I'll be glad to see it. That's a, that's a Ween reference. What's Ween? Shout out to Ween. Is Ween the guy who came up with that Buddhist cone? Where it's, um... If you have no sauce, you're lost. But you can also get lost in the sauce. It's a very clever thing. Whoever came I don't know about it. that, but Ween's a band. Oh. Well, you know, there was a guy. There was a famous rapper dude. I don't know what his name was. Wow, sounds real famous. Yeah. Well, you know, I don't know. I don't know celebrities. I don't care. But his quote was really good. How could I, how, how could I ignore such a glory review? Yeah. Goodly draws help me, I feel violently depressed. How the fuck am I supposed to help you with that? So do I. Go to somebody who's happy. Dan, will you help this uh, Mimi Animations character feel uh, fulfilled? No. Are you a therapist? Are you a, a licensed therapist? I'm not. Ween was the band responsible was for Ocean amazing. Man. Ween is a fucking great band. Yeah. I didn't even know. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Ocean yeah. Man. They did take the me by the heat. song too. The what song? They did the Ocean Man song. Or uh, they did um, the Tire Shoe song. Oh, in SpongeBob. Yeah. You got to loop the loop and pull, and your shoes are looking cool. That was a pretty good song. Did they sing Dancing Through the Sunlight? Frolic Through the Sunlight? Having a Wonderful Time? No. That was Lily, that was Lily Liver in the, the White. What was his fucking name? He was a creep. He's got a very creepy voice. Living in the Sunlight. Living um... in the Sunlight. Not a Tiny Tim. His name. Tiny Tim. Tiny Tim and the Flower People. Wow. Riveting. If Tim is so fucking you know? tiny, why doesn't he just have a growth spread already? 
<laughs> Am I right? Am I fucking right? Hey, man. When you're right, you're right. <laughs> when you're right, you're right. And you know what they say, the money is always right. Goodly, when are we gonna make out on stream? Never. Never, Joey T. Rex. I don't feel that way about you. Uh, him and me are working on a show together. Oh. Yeah. It's like a it's like a raunchy adult <laughs> comedy about uh, cryptids. And there's these guys, they go up into the woods. And uh, they find a spell book and they turn themselves into like cartoon animal people. It's an animated series. And they have to just live up in the Appalachian Mountains with the cryptid people. You know, it's a very crude comedy. It's kind of like, it's kind of South Park esque. I believe wow. it. I believe in it. I don't animate it though. I, can't I, really I, see I, I do not animate it. Wait, what did you say, Dan? Can't wait to see some of that. Oh yeah. It looks like an old uh, cartoon from the '90s or 2000s when we grew up, but it's got jokes like a like a South Park cartoon or an Aqua Teen Hunger Force cartoon, like for wow. adults. Something our generation can relate to. Yeah, exactly. Finally, a comedy for us guys. Am I right, Dan? Oh yeah. Yeah. Damn straight, says Mr. Joey T. Raccoon. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Joey T. Raccoon. Talking to Joey is like talking to me from 10 years ago, which is, you know, he's a good guy. I like him. I like him a lot. He, he throws himself into things he's willing to ask when it comes to his projects. Um, yeah, he's a good guy. Terrific. Yeah. A bit much, but a good guy. Then again, so can I be. A set day nine! Nine days since impact. Oh, horror, a bomb rock explosion engulfed my Pikmin. That last horrified facial expression is burned into my memory. I must review my procedures for handling Pikmin with bomb rock so that I do not repeat my mistake. He is emotionally scarred now from the horrors of war. He saw his companions get blown up. Oh yeah, Joey, acknowledge the poster. Oh yeah, I don't know if you... you it's kind of hard to see the... The poster to the left is... Uh, that's a poster for the Fluffers. It's got it's one of the characters on it. It's got a bunch of the characters on it. I think you can only make out the Chihuahua guy. Oh. Yeah. And okay. there's like a deer skull in the background. That represents a certain character. Uh, Alright. Such a lovely night. It's a wonderful night for howling. It's a wonderful night for eyebrows. It's a wonderful night for Grinch. Stuff. Yes. An old Eucariah called old so Jebediah, and old Jebediah said, yes, Eucariah, and old Eucariah said, oh, what did you say, Dan? What, what's, what's the amount he says he wouldn't go out for? Yeah. Oh, I wouldn't go out on a, on a night like this for a dollar and, and 60 cents or something like that. I think it's a dollar and fifty cents, which kind of implies the, they live. Uh, what's the inflation? I feel like they live in like a 1920s world where a dollar and fifty cents could get you like a nice steak dinner. I think what's, that's uh, what's the inflation on that? I don't know. Why don't you ask Dr. Seuss? Oh wait, you can't. He's dead. How dare you just respect Ted Guy? Yeah. Ted Hoozle? 
Ted Geisel. What is that, like the name of some guy? I don't fucking know a Ted Geisel. Mr. Theodore Geisel? Theodore Ge Theodore. You want me to respect a guy named Theodore? Theodore? What is he, a fucking chipmunk? What is he, a chipmunk from Alvin and the fucking chipmunks? I mean, that's a... That's a certain... Thing. Was Theodore the fat, stupid one, or the skinny, smart one? The skinny egghead. It was the smart one. Oh, uh, yeah. Remember in Cartoon All-Stars when Theodore was like, Marijuana is very bad for you. That was pretty cool when he said that. I, I think it was correct. Uh, yeah. I'm pretty upset, though, because one time, uh, very recently this week, I have a convenience store I go to near me. And I just found out they had a big rack of, like, hemp products because we live in Massachusetts, ass Massachusetts. So it's legal to do whatever we want here. But I was like, man, they just got, like, fucking hemp. I could buy hemp, and then I bought some gummies thinking I was going to have a good-ass time. Turns out they were the kind of fucking gummies that just, like, make you really calm and put you to sleep early. I was so fucking upset. I don't know, I guess that's why they, they let you buy it over the counter. I hope they have some THC so that I can get, I can at some point get really high and have a good time that way. I know I don't need yeah. to do drugs to have a good oh, yeah. time, but, you know, I'd like to do it at least once or twice in my life. A little, few more times, you know, just a few more times. Life is very yeah. short. Dan, what are your thoughts on the Prohibition era, when they made alcohol illegal? What do you think about that? I don't know, man. They should have just got over it, I guess. They got over it? Well, I mean, they did. They should have just got over it. How about that? Oh. What, you mean the people that were addicted to alcohol? Yeah, she just got over it. How inconsiderate and cruel of you to say things like that. You make baby oh, Jesus cry. Sorry. What did you say? Alcoholism is for old people. Oh. It isn't for old people, or it's just for old people? You know what? I don't even want to... I don't even want to say it again. Because you didn't pay attention the first time. No, I didn't fucking hear you. I, I didn't understand what you said. You didn't pay attention. Okay. What about what are you a fucking don't, don't, school teacher? Don't you, you dare, a, don't you dare get snippy with me. You're you're a strict school teacher. It's like I'm not going to repeat myself, Mr. Goodly Draws. I'm not going to repeat myself. I'm not more. I'm not repeating myself. I'm not doing it. I'm not repeating myself. <laughs> I don't think you've seen any of the really cool boss characters in this game. But once that uh, door gets knocked down, you'll be able to see... I, oh wait, actually, you, you kind of did. Because you saw all the enemies. Because of that list. All Pikmin are female in a good Oh, way. yeah. I don't think that's... I don't know if that's confirmed, uh, Mimi. I, I think that might just be a headcanon of yours. I'd have to check the Pikmin Wikipedia. The free encyclopedia. The Pickapedia? The Pickapedia, yeah. That's where I found out what a light bulb was. I used to think it was just uh, an object of Pikmin 2. And then they were like, oh no, hold on, here's an example of a light bulb in the real world. The fact that they have one for like every single treasure, they have like a real life example for fucking eggs, for bobby pins. I respect it, actually. You know, I kind of respect it a little bit. You gotta respect that shit. I don't do anything. What are your thoughts on the fall of Cyan? I'm I'm too tired to 
think about that. Oh, okay. What are your thoughts on counting sheep? Never thought about it. Oh. Well, no. I don't know how you're so tired then. Funny. You're very funny. Yeah, it's pretty good, right? Pretty fucking good. Hey, yeah, it was me. My, my, my smiling face. Yeah. It's fucking funny. What are your thoughts on sex before marriage? That's something easy. That's something simple you... for you. That's a lowball question. What did you? <laughs> what Chad, about you? Chad, if you believe in sex before marriage, put a Christmas tree emoji. If you don't believe in sex before marriage, put a vampire emoji and a candy cane emoji. I love I love asking my chat to to post different things. It's so fun. Yeah. Jesus, this is crazy stuff. I know you're falling asleep, Dan, but don't fall asleep just yet. You might miss this giant killer beetle on the other side of this wall. Look at wow. it, Dan. Oh, no. Nope. Oh, no. Oh, I thought he was going to attack. But he's not, he's not going to attack just yet. Counting sheep is the biggest sham in human history. Jesus, Marsh, don't be so fucking cynical. Look at him. Oh. This is a giant armored car. Oh. He was gonna throw a rock at me, but instead, I killed him. Oh, I think I was actually supposed to aim for the overheating part. Okay, hold on a minute. Look, see, I just want to show you. He can shoot rocks out at us. Oh, no. Oh, we killed one of us. It's not very groovy or fun. Oh! I like how this guy has like a car motif where you have to like throw the Pikmin into the hole and it's almost like a key. It's kind of fun. Mm -hmm. yeah. Alright, Mushroom yeah. put a Christmas tree emoji. I forgot what the Christmas tree emoji stood for, whether it was like. What the fuck did I even ask? Oh god! Oh no. I fucking hate them. I'm, I'm not fucking good at this game. I'm not good at anything. Fuck me. Fuck my little pussy, my little boy pussy. I hate every single goddamn thing. Every way you want. Mushroom. Put a mushroom in the chat. I'm not asking you to do that. I'm telling you. Type a mushroom in the chat. I'm not angry. I'm not angry. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, jeez. Oh. Damn. Thank goodness. Here we go. a pretty scary game. Look at this. Look at this crazy. This is like a Darth Vader beetle. He did it! D Damn, look, he did it. He posted a mushroom. Look in the chat. It's a squid. No, it's, it's a mushroom. It's the thing. It's no, not the, a fucking squid. Is... This is very clearly a beetle. I mean, you look at its wings, you look at its fucking face. It's just got... I need to stop you're throwing a tantrum right now. I'm not throwing a tantrum. I'm just disagreeing with you. You're having a you're having a really big tantrum. <laughs> I'm having a tantrum. What I'm not well, allowed. You to, are. I'm not allowed to disagree passionately. I'm not allowed to be passionate about my opinions on things. Fuck me. I'm gonna have a tantrum about that. That's what I'm gonna have a tantrum about. In a second. I'm gonna throw all my toys out of the crib and start pouting. At this point, I don't even know if I'm gonna make it out within 30 days. I might just die. 
I might just fucking, I'm, I've regressed completely as a, as a Pikmin player. I'm not a Dandori expert anymore, I'm not a Pikmin expert. Man, you really, uh, you really need to get on that Pikmin. I fell off. I fell off, Dan. Satterall with a little tree. Satterall posted a little Christmas tree, so I guess she's against gay marriage or whatever the fuck stupid shit I said in the chat. <laughs> I guess she believes in a apartheid. Or doesn't. I don't know. If you support Freddy Fazbear marrying one of the other animatronics, put a bear emoji in chat. If you think that kind of thing is against God and it would make Scott Cawthon mad, put. Oh, what, the fuck, what, what, what kind of emoji? Put a fucking smiley face in chat. I don't know. Gives you shit. Gives you shit anymore. What are you even talking about? I don't know. I don't even fucking know. This this is this, this is crazy. This is actual just crazy. No, it isn't. These aren't even real like. These aren't even real words or sentences. These no. this is just this is crazy. No, it isn't. You're. A Sounds like you're about to make a reference to a series that we both know and quote it. What the fuck is it? Battery saver? No, I, 